Itu yang mau gini I'm gonna be lost my cool before I get home Talking about we just had to slam on brakes Just Truck just all the way up to a woman that was just sitting parallel in the road like Do you see like I'm sorry. Do you have that ice? That's sun. Yeah, I got a whole drink in the floorboard like you can just just drink mine. She decided she'd pull out an oncoming traffic and stop until her side was clear. Yeah, that's not how you drive. Talking about like, I don't know how we stopped. Oh, I know. We skidded all four tires all the way up to her. She didn't make eye contact with us neither. She just kept on driving like, just not happening. <laughs> like, oh, I tell you, didn't make eye contact. She didn't. She didn't even look. No, she she didn't even look for the skid and tires coming at her. She was solely looking at that wheel. <laughs> she didn't. Uh, she wasn't wanting there a minute of it. Like, so two people done pull out there. I believe of I saw it. her. I believe I saw her eyebrows lean down a little bit, trying to get away from us. I mean, we've been live two minutes. We didn't have two people pull out in front of us. Yeah, didn't you? I can't stand people that don't pay attention oh, to driving. Out there? Yeah, you're gonna be alright. Hey, little Regal, watching and bopping. Oh, my little homo. Gotta have your patriot. After you throw everything in the floorboard that you own, ask me, is that going to work? Big negative. That's the wrong charger. So that's probably why it don't work, dude. You know, I spent $1,000 on chargers, and we don't even have one. Ain't that great? Yep, you had to keep on buying them because you lost them. Tearing that candy cane up. I didn't know when you went to the doctor you got candy canes for being sick. They I mean, said, I feel bad for you. <laughs> Here's three. <laughs> so he got him some candy canes, y'all. I said, ooh, I like this. It's my favorite flavor candy cane. No idea what flavor it is, but it's my favorite flavor. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Get candy cane this this color and this flavor and hook it on the Christmas tree at the low part so you don't have to climb up a whole ladder to get the candy cane. I don't know what you're talking about. See, you can't hang a, you can hang a candy cane on a tree. Mm-hmm. Like. Mm-hmm. So the little man feels, he feels, uh, Okay, right this minute. He got a blue mouth, blue lips, blue chin. The end of his nose is blue a little bit. Oh, it actually is. He got blue teeth. Like a green teeth. Uh, I got a blue teeth. Show everybody. I got green teeth. Show everybody, like. I mean, that candy cane's winning, ain't it? 
I got green tea. I think they give you that just because they know it's going to turn you that color. <laughs> the cherry likes to put a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Bentley, how did you pick up? She was like, hi. Okay. Hi. And then she went serious mode. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hi. Okay. <laughs> Boy. I believe her. You done got me sick. I believe her voice dropped down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it did. You heard it. Yeah, okay. What's that name, Uh, 7, 12, 11. What's your name? Steven. I am the father. <laughs> you want my famous signature or just my, you want okay my famous one has a, a heart in it oh. let me do it you can put it if you want look there you go <laughs> Thank you. i gave him the famous one <laughs> with the sh and she a said, heart on it she said it don't matter big He's like, okay. <laughs> you Thank you, man. <laughs> Have a good day. Hi, <coughs> Dale. Take the medicine, okay? So they gave little man a Z pack. I don't know what that is. It's five days of antibodies instead of 20 days. Oh, snap. He's oh, like, you don't look like you enjoy taking medicine, so let's just go and give you a five day trial. I said, why on earth makes you think he like won't take he won't take twenty days worth? I said, who does? Yeah. So he's he's uh his ears was a touch red, his throat was red. Watch it out. So we just went by the pharmacy. Well, look, when you go to the doctors and pharmacists, look, you can clear the rest of your schedule. It takes a little while. Don't, did. don't forget when you drop your medicine off, they like, yes, that'll be about 15, 20 minutes. So um, if you don't mind, can you just drive off, not hold up the line? Y'all look, there's the famous signature. I'm, the I'm talking about, hold on a second. I did it, didn't I? It's got the heart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you better look out. I did it. <laughs> oh, man. Bumping in the job end. That's what I'm talking about. Look, lives in a, a $1.25 million house, and he had a push. Next to other $1.3 million And houses. he had a push board cutting grass. <laughs> that joker would be tied as grandma there. That's winning. when that woman pulled out. She pulled dead out in front of me. I was running 50 mile an hour. She just cost us a whole $7. I was running 50 mile an hour. She just pulled dead out, straddled my lane and stopped. I don't mean rolled. I mean, she pulled out in it, stopped, and then looked the other direction. Oh, look, there's somebody coming. So I'm going to let them wait for about a good three seconds. Look at the line behind me and then go. Man. Two mile an hour. Tell me I just had spotted my tires. So I wonder we didn't blow them out right there. I mean, bless your heart. 
they tied. That must have been her truck. It couldn't have been. <laughs> she was driving her husband's truck. <laughs> He's like, I'm not going to tell him about this one. <laughs> yeah, I ain't going to tell him about that one. Bless her heart. Bentley's right, though. She didn't even look. She didn't even make eye contact. I guess she thought we was gonna cuss her out. I believe. Uh, That's what most people do, but that ain't what I do. I just say, do you feel better? I believe if she looked at you, I mean, she do was you fed up a little bit more. <laughs> 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 do you feel better? Is the question. Was it worth it? older trucks only the front tires lock up so uh it don't have like anti-lock all four wheel braking them yeah. old vehicles just skid with two tires and they have blister you they don't really stop it just <laughs> i mean i guess it'll stop eventually but it don't stop like four tires stop them Stopping us, red lights. We've been on and fire. And car in front of us. We've been on fire. We've been red lighting it all day. That car's been go making us go 30 miles, 30 mile an hour since that crazy lady. I'm trying to think of who the truck that was. Are you feeling better, man? Yes, sir. Was it the was it the candy cane well, or what? Get, it was the candy cane. The doctor said that he's probably going to run fever some more. He did. He's like, well. In the morning, goes away and comes back in the evening. He said, well, it's, it's definitely going to come back, so. He gave him he gave him an excuse for two days to go fishing. Was that a king ranch? Look like it. What you know about a king ranch, man? That's uh That's like a king ranch is That was an officer was inside that one, yeah, it was an officer. officer. A king ranch means hey, you just spent forty thousand more dollars. on them 18-wheeler things they do a design. I'd be spelling stuff. Oh, uh, I think he did spell something. Yeah. Not cool. I didn't see that. What spells what? Uh, Not what I would have spelled. International? No. Don't worry about it. I think about the numbers. I was, I was not kidding about it. I would have spelt something. I just didn't know when I zoomed in, he spelled something. Yeah, he had a, 
He had an accident. He might have been the one that went into the, 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 the courthouse. gonna have to wear that blue off and he's loving it. Life's good, ain't it? I got two Skid right here. That joke is winning. Man, I need front brakes for that 01. No. Yeah, 01 F-150, four-wheel drive. Hey, it's Terry for Thomas's. Um, Ernest tried to uh, call us about six batteries and big batteries. Give me a work order number. Uh, you said it was Ernest? 
Here. Okay, that's, well, that wasn't us. The pre-base is... Alrighty. Thank you. I see it on the shelf right there. Is he sitting right up here anywhere? Let me get some out of the bag, Steven. I got it. Well, they got two sets of them, Stephen, depending on the gross vehicle weight. And I've sure bought the wrong ones before. Said in the truck. Yeah, Ought to be bought piles of. <laughs> yeah, he you bought it up to two seven. I mean, without. All right. Uh, you got the you got a driver side front dry shaft axle. That one's about two months old and the clamp come off. Slung my grease out. Now it's got dirt in it. So I guess you could clean it and put a clamp on it or you can just buy a new one. Which I ordered it off Amazon today. Yeah. Probably one the clamp wasn't too good. Thank you, sir. Had a long and slow for y'all. Yeah, I can't get this one in the clear out to go to a new vehicle. Step out until Lewis is slowed down again.
Sorry, Karen. I'm going to put it Saturday when the stake on the phone went this morning called in and uh Ronnie went in and called again this morning to see if they could put it for the shuttle truck for us today. We can't find it now. You see if it'll glue the brake pad back on? No, we don't. I can show you the one I ordered if the numbers are happy. Well, you'll know in just a second, won't you? Hopefully. Side Driver side front. That ought to be her there. Okay. Now we're going to make a beer. Uh, 
tried the big tin machine shop at the DMV. The old home machine shop being closed for several years now. Okay. Okay. You gotta keep my gotta get my brakes fixed because the people driving in this town. <laughs> yep. Oh. We was we was going. Probably. 45 or 50 mile an hour woman pull out in front of us and just stopped in their lane sideways. <laughs> I slid all the way up to the front of her, all the way up to her door. She never even looked. <laughs> hey now. How you doing? Man? Pretty good. Good to see you. Yes, sir. Good to see you. like still trying to gain my composure from that one yeah. and then and then 200 yards down the road somebody else done it okay <laughs> i said ben we need to go fishing yeah, <laughs> yeah. I reckon we can take our broke self home now. Man, they had to buy everything in their mama from a truck. Trying to keep it going. Trying to keep it on the road. This is the most wonderful video I've ever made in the history of making videos, yeah. <laughs>
Hey, well, big, you in school? hey, big man, let me hold a dollar. You can get it. I feel like I owe you a dollar anyway because every time you uh, Look at sing them. and stuff, I go in there and get a free concert. That's what it's for, man. It's for the people. Yeah, you need tires, bro. I didn't ever hear back from you about two of them. I'll tell you the truth, I forgot all about it. Hey, the, the back and the front was brought the same day. Look how good the back still is. Did you ever rotate them? Mm-mm. Need to rotate them about every 6,000 miles and then make them last a lot longer. Well, I come up here to do a front end alignment, and your dude back there, like, I dropped my truck off. It was here all day. He didn't do nothing to it. He said, Well, I didn't think you wanted to spend that much money getting in the line. I was like, Does it need front end work? Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what that is. Let me run back there and see if I got you. All right. I said, that is a local person. Safety tabs for the baby. Well, she's 22. She's still a baby. She's somebody's baby. Let me get out of there. You're about to be twice her age. Yeah, thank no, you for not. reminding me. No, you're not. No, you're not. Oh, <laughs> well, don't worry. In a few more years, you're going to be paying bills and light <laughs> bills. Know. and You're going to be buying groceries. and Well, then your dog's sick, and then you're going to need brakes on your truck, and then you're going to need to buy tires, and then you're going to need to buy groceries again. And... Yeah. Keep on laughing. You ain't too far away, my man. Okay. You ain't too far away. Then your girlfriend's gonna be hungry. You gotta take her out to eat. Burger King ain't gonna cut it. So then what you gonna do? Oh, I gotta have to make money somehow. Better go on and get you two jobs because guess yeah. what? It just gets better. You're gonna be running to my house to eat, ain't you? I can already tell it. Mm -hmm. I hear you. This is another place you're supposed to make appointment, and I don't. You just pop the vehicle. Yeah, normal people make appointments and drop their vehicle off. But me, I just drive up and I'm like, "Hey, can you do you have time to fix it?" You say yes, we do. What? There's not a hit. There's never in the history of Hodges have we ever made an appointment. I mean, I ain't against making an appointment. I don't have time to make an appointment. I got two Venom Terra Hunters, but there's no Aturos out there right now. But the Venoms look just like the Aturos, and I think they ride better. Can you put them on? Yeah. I'm riding on a prayer. When you want to do it? Right, right, right now, now. Unless I got to make an appointment. No. Back up and pull straight to that door right, right. there, and I get Pull forward, right? That's what I'm talking about. Let's just pull up here and get them right now. Let's get new, two new tires before my debit card can't be run anymore today. It's gonna say credit fraud. It's gonna say no <laughs> normal person has spent that much money in one day. <coughs> but what do you do? You have to keep your truck going. I hear my brakes grinding, so therefore like, yeah, I gotta put, I gotta put pads on it. See, normal people put a rotor on it when it grinds, but not a Hodges, we just like, you know what? Hey, we'll let the new pad iron it out. That's probably why our lifetime pads don't last, uh, but what, three months? How you gonna have a lifetime pad that lasts three months? 
Because you were Hodges. Like, and see what's bad is I know these things. And I don't do anything to help it. I just, you know, what do you do? I'm glad you like my drink. I mean, that's your drink, because that's filthy. Your, yours went down it. There's still ice in the floorboard. Yep. A whole, I mean, a whole lot of ice. Yeah, you know, it's a big ass bottle. Yeah, 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 Oh, it is so cold. When you're Hodges, you can expect some stuff to happen. That's what we doing. You know, we live in life. We... <sighs> I don't even know what I should say. You know, I got... Look, and also the life of Hodges, you got multiple napkins. Also the life of a Hodges. You collect napkins where you go because you know what? I can play a field all day long. I can catch catfish from a dust till dawn. <laughs> Enlighten them when we need napkins assortments. Ah, uh, problems like these, just in case, like restaurants rip you off, and uh, that's for when you're driving down the road and you catch a cramp. Yeah, and you like. You know what, boss man? I ain't gonna make it home. <laughs> Pull over right here a minute. Yes, what I meant. Give them just a minute, they get right on it. Ten, Paul. I almost got me a chicken coop the other day, boy. Did you? Yeah, I, th I don't think I can build it for this. Let's see right here. Yeah, chicken coop. Yeah, I think I. Where's my messenger? Right there. Yeah, man, they got some big ones on there. That's pretty reasonable. Can't build one this cheap. Eight by twenty-four. She told me she'd take seven hundred dollars for it. How you gonna be able to move it though? With the record. Big now. Metal roof. Yeah, that's nice, sir. Your chickens will be spoiled. My, my chickens are already spoiled. <laughs> my pa-in-law's having to watch my chickens right now because, you know, Macy's the ag teacher. Yeah. So uh, she don't have, um, she don't got nowhere to put them where everybody give her eggs to hatch. So we got silkies. The other day we had nine roosters. We had to give away yeah, roosters. Pretty good. I don't think my daddy told me no day to name chicken. chicken. Well, you know, the school's got an incubator, and you incubate them, and it's got a camera that sits down and watches them, and you can go on YouTube and stream the whole hatching process live. Man, I bet I have 50, 60 roosters. We had nine. We'd give eight away. I mean, I, have, I probably have 300 animals. But you got animals. them all in different pens? Man, I have them all oh, over. Oh, I've seen the yard. I mean, I got, got them everywhere. in different pens, but. <laughs> they got, man. That's what was at my eye yesterday. We was at my daddy's house. We had uh, Remy, my brother's little girl birthday party. I was chicken and there got <laughs> Man. Man, we got so many eggs now. Man, uh. I just give away 24. We got about 60 the other day, and they done got 24 more. You eat a lot of eggs. See, my I house eat, eats. My, daddy, I, I get my, my, my house eats a lot of eggs. Eggs best way to do it. You coming on with that house, though? I'm working on it. I started pulling in there the other day. The gate was open. But the I, gate was open. I was there. I started pulling in there and come see you. Yeah. Working on it. It's tough by yourself, though, holding all that pine wood and 20 foot lumber and. You getting it, Doug? Yeah, working on it. Ready for the. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, be ready for the roof this Did week. Did you buy all that land, or y'all already had all that land? No, I I got it. You bought that land? Mm -hmm. How many acres is it? Oh, well, I can't say. Oh. On camera, it looks like a lot. Well, it's a lot.
They uh, we come through there the other day and had to stop at the church down there. They said had to sit still in the middle of the road for 10 minutes, two bucks fighting in the middle of the road in front of the church. Which, blowing the horn, blowing which church? The, the, right down from your house at the end of Peachtree. Yeah. So you know when you leave your house, if you will out your That's driveway. That's north side or left, something, ain't it? Well, North Peachtree's the road I live on. Hey, that's another good one. So if you, if you pull out your driveway and you're looking at your daddies, if you take a left and go down that stop sign, that church right there in front of you, if you go past that church and get in that short curve, that's my house on the left. Yeah. But uh, they were fighting right there on Snell Bridge Road, right there in front of the church. Man. But now they weren't no big bucks now. They were little. But yeah. Now, I told him one this morning, 5.30, he hit a big buck down there where y'all used to hunt down there on Chip's place. Down there by the Christmas tree farm. They couldn't find the deer. Let's see, they hit a 14-pointer right there in front of my house Friday. Mm. Jeez. And the colors lady hit it. I mean, they spent so many big deer. What's that boy's name? Uh, Jerry. What's his, uh, Mickey Jerry. What's his brother's name? Mickey Jerry. Gerard. Uh-huh. What's your brother? Did you see the buck he killed? Uh, he, was, he was a good one. Does he got a brother? His name was... He's Kenny Mickey. Dog Herden killed a big one, and uh, Dog on the Neats boy just killed a monster. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that one. You didn't see the Neats boys? You ever seen Stephen's collection? He <laughs> killed all his down there by my law. That'll be a negative. <laughs> A lot of people. Still killing deer over there getting a lot of people's always paper. said that. <laughs> they got dropped off the other day, at Southeast Paper, and hunted all she day. The bag and she's had that land right here beside Southeast Paper. I don't know. It used to be a hunting bus years ago, but I don't know. That's, everybody always thinks about my daddy. I, for one, I ain't too much one to break the law. I mean, if I do, I don't mean to. It's just getting jacked. He's jacking us up like a champ, ain't he? You talking about the next door kid once said he don't ever deer hunt? Because he's so busy. He knows. He was doing that. Matter of fact, I got the front axle on the back of the truck. I just bought it. Yeah, I'd say that's a good in there. <laughs> that's what I say. Yeah. yeah. That. I that. mean, look, they said turn them, they look bigger. He ain't even got to turn that deer, and that deer's massive. Yeah, that's a big deer there. Man, it's all in having a good land. I just feed them and watch them now. Well, you know, that's the same thing I do. That one right there is in the middle of the day, sitting on the front porch watching that joker. Yep. And he comes out and eats. But they there just about every morning. But the problem we run in, that's the problem we run into over here in Bruton. They keep riding by and um, shooting all the deer out the field in front of the house at church owns. I don't, I don't run two up out of there. Which house do you buy over there? One right by the old school. You know, my daddy's owned the old school for years. There's a, there's, there's a one brick house in the curve right there. Yeah, there's a brick house that kind of joins that church land. I That's bought it. the brick house. Oh, okay. So I bought the brick house from seven and a half acres. And the school's on uh, 14 acres, so we got about 22 acres total. Man, that's nice there. That's good hunting in there, too. Well, if you can keep all the illegal poachers from somebody's, shooting them at night. Well, somebody's doing that because I was out there with my chickens the other night because I got a fox coming in. I can tell you who it is. It's that boy down there at Lakes Alignment and um, Lance Newman's boy. I called him and took the keys out of the truck the other night and then felt bad and had to apologize to him. 
<laughs> he said, don't you reach in my truck. I took the keys out of the truck and laid them on my truck. I said, well, I was standing out there. My... deer in my front yard, man. Come on. In the field right across from your house? Yeah. I was, at, I was at my chicken pen and I heard booyah about 10.30. I said, he got that. And... <laughs> I imagine you're going to hear him a lot with that field right there behind you. Hello. To the side of you. They ever shoot that field a lot? No, not too much. They, But I got cameras, so like I got the ones that somebody's there, I'll know right then. Like you can drive up on people with the cameras I got. Like that spy point now, it's live, it sends it straight to your phone. Not spy point ain't worth a crap. I like them Moultrie ones, it's so cheap. I think it's what, the Moultrie or the Reveal? That thing ain't but about $90, it works pretty good. The ones I, I think I pay about $300 a year, but it's unlimited pictures on three cameras. So it ain't, every camera you add it, price comes down a little bit, but. It's worth that, man. Just to, I need a, I need a trailer. What you get on your twenty foot trailer? You know, my ex kept my hood. I have to go inside and see. Um, well, when you get time, shoot me a do price you, on do you one. Care what it looks like? A car trailer or? A... I just all this stuff I've been buying for my house. I've been having to take my boat up there, put it on there. Cause 20 foot lumber, I can't haul in my truck. Yeah. I've been taking my boat. What are you fixing to do? Daddy got a steel the other day. He bought a Ranger bass boat with a 150 on it. He got it behind his truck out there. He gave $2,200 for it. Yeah. 18 foot with a 150 on it. Man, that joker is scat. <laughs> That's what I've been looking for. He probably sell it to you. I don't know for how much, but he probably sell it to you. Lord, better get out of here. We're going to be we're gonna be picking up more aluminum cans. I'm telling you. Hey, we holding it down, y'all. We at the tire store. He's eating out. He's about to get the blue washed off of him. When we woke up that we had no idea we was gonna be doing all this we doing. Time to go to the doctor. Time to go to the post office. Somebody's about to hit the ladder rack. Oh, we don't even see it. Where's the ladder rack? Oh, it's by that top. How you feeling, baby? The same. He looks like the hair. He looks like the hair that grows around a wildebeest's butt. <laughs> you know where it's from? starts it goes from red and it turns to blonde <laughs> oh man my little man ain't he sweet y'all well did i start with blonde hair what what hair did i was i born with you was born redheaded i'll never forget it I never forget you was born redheaded. I watched that little red head. I watched it coming out. When they laid you in your mama's arms, wrapped up, she said, Is he redheaded? Uh. 
I said, what? The H kind of question is that. How much? Man, that is the question of the day, ain't it? Come look at it right quick. I'm gonna be coming. Baby, be careful getting out. I still got my seat belt on. I do too. Tell me, you liable getting a wreck any day in this town. Okay. Let's throw it. Let's throw it, Mark. See, you did it. I said, hey, see. I specialize in boats. Yes, sir. I wasn't going to replace the carpet until he told me he had a soft spot. Yes, sir. Now I'm going to put a quick store. Yes, sir. You see what it's replaced with and what it's replaced. Yes, sir. Well, that joker ought to get it. Yeah, that's a little fishing boat. It's got all the depth binders and everything inside. I got, I got them inside. I'm trying to leave it out here. People steal a stew out of it. I mean, just a show. Somebody stole my pontoon across the street. They stole my gas tank, my gas can, my gas line off of it. Oh, man. Left the trolling motor. You got the windshield now, don't you? Uh -huh. It was off the roof off of it. Where's it at? I don't know. It wasn't Well, it's in this boat somewhere, then, because he's got it. Live wheel up front, live wheel in the back. If you ask me how any of that work, I ain't got the slightest idea. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rob. He's got some storage now. You've heard the motor run. Well, now the guy hated running all the time. He said, ain't he said, absolutely nothing wrong. It's my, he's one, he's it's one my that, neighbor at the lake. He's our neighbor at the lake. Mm -hmm. He bought a new one? Yeah. He was restoring this one. This is the yes. one he'd done all his bass permits in. He caught cancer and quit. Now his cancer is about gone. Tire. He went that right, he joined the Sinclair Bass Club tire. up there. Went out with a guy as a co-anchor, co-captain. And a guy bounced him out of the seat. He told his wife, he said, I'm just going to buy me another. Mm. I ain't never had an XR4, I had an XR2. No, this is, this is two stroke. This is two stroke motor, I know that. Now, I don't know anything about an XR4. What's the difference between the two? What is an XR2? Just two stroke, 150. Well, that's a two stroke now, but I don't know what the four stands for. Well, it's just a different model. I mean, everything on it works. Tilt finders, everything. Well, let's put it this way. He said it was working when he, when he took it out. Yeah. I think it's he, he got it wired up when you plug it in right here and it's working all the batteries overnight. Yes, sir. Batteries, that's winning. Hmm. Now, what is the cook kill switch right there for? 
Ain't that a kill switch? What we is that? We stored it in a marina at one time. They won't let it come in there without a kill switch. Okay, okay. I think there's three bangers in there. I think there's one right over here. Yes, sir. Three. When you store it at the marina, they don't want to have to charge the battery all the time, so they make yeah. you kill it. What we fix to do now is replace that soft spot and go out and have it recarpet it. The rest yes, of the carpet done. And then we're going to haul it to the lake. It's got four seats. Look, and I don't know what this means. It, it tells you something about a foot. He said the only thing that gear shift for is just fall in reverse. That's right. He said your foot feed right there. He said just like the hydraulic on the tractor. Yes, sir. It means you take your foot off your quick. It's got a hot foot. So. Uh -huh. You just got forward and reverse and you do your gas with right, your right, foot. Yes, right there, but just down yes. there, it's just forward and reverse is all it is. He said it ain't like your pontoon boat. Yes, sir. And you catfish a lot, don't you? Yes, sir. I just, I just like going. I do too. I like going whether I catch anything or not. That's, that's me. If I go, if I don't catch I'm just a <laughs> yes, sir. Now, 100, I can brag a little bit more about. You that way, you got a point you know about I mean, that. I can, with 100, I can brag a little bit. Well, I'll tell you what, you have everybody wanting to know where you're fishing. Don, Donnie Muller, you know, he sold 146 Wednesday night. Man. He said 1145, they give out a bait. <coughs> but now, here's what I ask about your fishing. Yes, sir. Did you go to a lake, a pond, or a river? That's all I'm, and I don't want you to tell me nothing else. Because I ain't gonna make you lie to me. <laughs> ain't, that, ain't that right? Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. No, no, you don't you to be surprised how many people want. <laughs> yes, sir. Justin Savage told me, he said, he showed a bunch of fish. He said, caught in my dog river. I called Van, that's my first cousin. I said, Van, hey, yes, don't catch that out of Oak County, no. though. Now, he gave me the pots and everything to glue them down with. Yes, sir. In fact, there's one of the things. Here's some more. I mean, yes. Just give me a try. This is nice. How much you want for it? I don't. I ain't trying to sell it. Keith, what is he asked about selling it? My thing is, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, number one, I'm 70 years old. Yes. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to like stepping up on this thing. Yes, sir. Don't know if I'm going to like it or not. I got on. Uh, Ronnie sold his son's boat, and I was reluctant getting up there and getting that. Rodney sold? Uh-huh. Ryan, oh, Ryan just bought him another one. He, Rodney, right the tree man? Uh-huh. Oh, he got him about a $100,000 boat, if it ain't a little more than that. Well, now, see, he just got this one. He, he just got another one. Well, the one I seen him in the other day is a Cayman. I can't tell you nothing about it, but well, I do know he just got him got another boat. Teeth. You're trying to get your teeth and your gums to match your hat. <laughs> <laughs> he oh. was, so he doing hey, a good job. Hey, you doing a fine job, He boy. got a candy cane at the doctor's office. Oh, so now you're gonna have to go to the dentist and get your get now, your teeth back white. Teeth a flip anything for a dollar. I'm not like that. Not at all. Keith, Only thing I can do is you just make an offer. Keith I don't teeth. mind, I, does it? I talked to Keith and I say to you yesterday. <laughs> Keith don't look here, and Keith don't like buying stuff with me. Bought the Ranger. You about got your bedroom ready? I bought the Ranger so we can ride around in. Yes, sir. Okay. He said, I got uh, Ranger sold. I said, no, you don't either. He said, yeah, I got it sold. He said, we're going to make $1,000 a key. <laughs> Son, I don't buy nothing to sell. I buy the key. I bought this to see if I like fishing on it. If I don't, then I'll give it to my grandkids see if they want to fish on it. But now if you offer me money, I'm liable to take it because I ain't got it like I want it yet. I want this carpet done. Well, really, truly, I'm thinking about just... Cover that, cover that, put it back on, and take it on to the lake. I'm ready to put in there water. Yes, sir. Hey, that that Stand motor right there. What's the advantage of having a gas pedal like that? What what came in the boat? Yeah. Well, the big motors like that, they they come and they like hot foots. Oh, so that's what they call that a hot. That's foot. hot foot. What the, what's the advantage of it though? Like, like Driving it with your feet like a car versus the like a like a oh, so normally you would do 
it up there like I do my boat. Well, one of the good things, if you get through out of the boat and you don't have the keel switch, your motor won't be hung wide open because that pedal will come back. It'll still be in gear, but you won't be running 60 mile an hour. They say it's just like our Kubota track. When yep. you let go, it stops. Now, it ain't gonna stop on a dime like our tractor does. But my thing is, he said, you mash it at a goat. He said, that thing up there is just a forward and reverse handle. That's all he's That's right. good for. That's right. He said, ain't good for nothing else. Makes sense, man. I thought they all had foot Hey, you won't be disappointed. That's a good sound of motor. That they don't just any motor sound like that one going across the lake. I mean, when you hear, <coughs> well, let me tell you, you can be fishing and you hear a boat coming and you can tell if it's got one of them motors on it. They 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 rev up high. Let me tell you about my daddy though. He gonna cruise out there about twenty mile an hour. Twenty mile an hour. And he gonna try to catch crap and he ain't gonna bass. For <laughs> Hey, we got a we got a twenty five hundred dollar pontoon bass buggy, but got an eleven thousand dollar brand new Tahatsu ninety horse on it. Hey, there ain't nothing wrong with that. But when we hit the lake, we ain't breaking down no more, cause we put a brand new motor on it this year. The last time I went to the lake was the first time I didn't break down. I finally got the part on my truck and boat fixed. My solenoid on it, it run like a champ right now. As soon as it warmed up, it shut off. And I'd get it home, I'd work on it, think I had it going because it crank up, drive an hour and a half, break down again. So it took me about a year and a half to figure out what part it was. Mm. Now it's all right. Where, where'd you and your daddy go camping not too long ago? That Y'all camped out there on the water that was so pretty. River? What, what state park was that? Oh. Uh. Who's the daddy? Don't hear Danny, I think. Danny. Danny. Okay. Let's see, I know all them boys. Yes. Marvin they say Lee. back in the day that juggle was hard to beat in arm wrestling. They say Stevens has got the got to know how to strengthen the little technique to use. They say Steven hard to beat at arm wrestling. They say, yo, they say, wasn't it your daddy? They said it was so good at it. Well, I beat daddy. I don't remember how long ago. But, yeah, daddy never got beat arm wrestling. Mar Marvin Ray up there with Ernst Care was at a beat house. That's right. Marvin was granddaddy. That's daddy's daddy. Okay, okay. Yep, yep. Yep. Marvin Ray Hodges. That's right. And Ray Chapel. They was Chapel and then uh, they was Howard. Howard got struck by lightning on Sinclair. I don't know Chapel, but I know Marvin Ray. Yeah, Howard got struck by lightning. And I knew Tony Danny. That's bad. What, did it kill him? Yeah. He and was a record driver that got struck. He lived, but it, it ended up uh, deteriorating his inside. Like his inside was just kept everything, just start shutting down and falling apart. But that record driver survived. He got hit going down the interstate. Yeah, he opened the door, stepped out. The trooper was behind him and videoed the lightning when it hit the truck. Man. But he had to take like 15, 20 pills a day. It messed him up so bad. Talk on. I think it was a brain new one. I think so, yep. Matter of fact, it's uh, Ty Tyson and their kin folks, I think. Well, what do you think that boat's worth if we decide to sell it? I'm up. Don't be scared to say it. It's just a guess. Well, I mean, it's an older boat. There ain't nothing wrong with that. It's 89. It's just, but. Keith bought that 300 he had. I think he ended up to be about $40,000, $50,000. Just for the boat. Yeah. Yeah. I said I'd talk it beat that. I thought it'd be between four dollars to $6,000. I said that. I said that. I thought it'd be between four dollars to $6,000. We ain't got but 22 in it, so we're going to come out regardless. Yeah. I think we got 22 feet. But I'll do something different you do. I'll keep up how much money I spent on it. Yeah, that's it's, important. Well, see, keep on, keep on figure out them things. <laughs> you know, you're going to put some four tires on. We're going to paint, repaint the bears. We're going to fix the carpet. But I'm really thinking about leaving the carpet alone. Just fix some two lids. Put us out circling the water.
Man, you can get that guy. There's a guy in Bruton that's sand yeah, that down sand. and clear it. He'll re clear that that's and it's cheap. Once we get it and they, uh, they polish it back out, it'll clean up a lot. You can do a lot with that. Shoot, we saw one the other day that didn't even run for how much? Never heard it run. How much was that at by the Julie Pug? $3,000, and it didn't even run, and it ain't even that good. They've been sitting up 15 years. Man. When they've been sitting there in the shield, they had to replace all the wiring on come right Now, it's going to look good when they get it, uh, when they get it cleaned well, up. Well, see, Trevor works with you. Mm. Trevor's going to polish it. Hey, them boots on them CV axles. You got them pins They're that clamped. go on them. I think you can get them from the help section at the parts help. house, I think. They got a help section that's, if you go in Napa and ask them for the boot yeah. to make a clamp, but you got to have a special tool to do it, or either you, you can put like a, you want me going your ass? I can put a out. You can put like a big uh, hose on it. Yeah. If it's the small end, you can just put a tie strap on it. What that? But you talking about the big end with the metal ring? Well, that axle so there, it ain't but about two months old. But well, that give you a brand new one for it. It's got a one year warranty. Oh, does it doesn't? Yeah. I just stopped and bought a new one. Yeah, you take that one back, that'll give you a brand new one. Well, I ordered it off Amazon. Uh, Bentley! Bentley's over there playing in the mentor bucket. Yeah, I got that thing on a deal, boy. All right, bro. I asked him if he liked the fish. He said he been doing his whole life. He has. He come out. He come out holding a spinning rod. Pretty good, but <sighs> tiny Hodges. Okay. Man, how's it feel to just be that good looking? Even as yourself look. You know you're a good looking youngin, don't you? Ain't nobody told you today yes, you're you're pretty youngin. Even know. though you do got Smurf lips. Mm-hmm. You three quarter Hodges and one quarter Smurf. I'm buying chips. Huh? A Hodges. Yeah. Well, I just want to know how it feels to be that pretty. When you feel bad, you see it, you're still pretty. Huh? I don't think Dad gets it. What's the deal? I mean, I know you see yourself in a mirror. So, like, come on now. Yeah. You're pretty too. Me? Yeah. Oh, no. Every time I look in the mirror in the morning, I scare myself. I, like, do my kung fu arm, and then I realize it was just me. I mean, I think... I think like Shrek done broke into the camper. And I got like Ricky Bobby here first thing in the morning. Looked like I've been riding a go-kart. So like I scared myself a little bit. Did you take your medicine yet? 
You got drank to take it. Get that water over there. You need to take your first round of medicine. That's like the first thing you're supposed to do, man. Of all three? Huh? Of all three? Is that ice still in the floorboard? Yes, sir. I Lord, got some of it out. Uh, I threw most of it out. I'm going to see your medicine. Take two tablets by mouth on day one, then one tablet on day two through five. So you take two of these right now. Oh, so not two of these? Yeah, don't be taking two of them, boy. You're gonna be looking drooling. You're gonna be looking like Shrek. <laughs> take two of these. This is your Zyrtec. You take one of these, you will be sleeping. Be sleeping like a champ. <laughs> What's the other one? That's, uh, I don't oh, that's for coughing. Did like you give me two of these? that's prednisone. So take one, of them. so take one of them and two of them with water. Watch your feet. You doing all right today, bud? Doing as good as I can be. Another day, ain't it? Look like I'm going to have to clean them rims now that I got new tires. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> uh, who's ever got time to do that, you know? Yeah, that's why I had black rims. I should have thought about that. I got a Ford Ranger on 15-inch bullet holes to 35 inches. Oh, I just side. seen it over there a while ago. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Look like you can jump some ditches in that thing. Well, the fenders might come off, but it'll do it. <laughs> I, I seen the tires where they'd rubbed a little bit. Yeah, I'm lifting it eventually. <laughs> I have the three-inch lift kit for it. I just have no time to install it. Hey, man, bro, I know exactly what you're talking about. I didn't even have time to stop here today. I just... I was like, if I don't do it now, I'm going to be side the road with two blowed out tires. Yeah, I've been there. That's why those are on the truck before the lift kit got put on. <laughs> I was running 31. But yeah. I got sold. Brought it out from the second. I had to ditch them. Yes, sir. Oh, I just went ahead and put the 35s I had ordered on it. Yes, sir. Look, baby. Here. Talk to him a minute. I gotta go pay for all this stuff, okay? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, hey, everybody. Did you get it? No. Are you clawing at it like a vampire? I can't get it. Yeah. Man, you just drooled all over. <laughs> Alright. Take that and talk to him. I'll be right back. Yes, sir. Watch your feet. Ah. Did not taste good. That's like. Well, I don't like medicine. Oh, hey, everybody. It's good to see y'all. Oh, oh, my God. We have 394 watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed that.
really do have blue teeth, guys. See? That green. I got blue tongue. But I take what it is. That is. That's winning. That's winning. And I gotta take. That's like. Whole life supply of medicine I gotta take. Hold on. That's the jaw right here. Let's see, did I take this? I took that. I didn't take that. I need to take that. Oh my god, this is like just let me take one more one more pill and I just I feel great. This is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I don't taste no more candy cane now. Ooh. Oh, look, let me show y'all where the candy cane fell. Let me show y'all this. This is hilarious. So, I had a can. So, there's a candy cane right here. And it's on the right side. And I had another candy cane on the left side. But it fell down. Came over here and landed on a gear shaft. We were talking about this. But it was hooked on that, slid off, did like three flips, and then land and hooked itself on that. That, and we got some, you know, in case you leave your lures, that, them are emergency. And, uh, yeah, that candy cane was pretty cool. Hold on. This. Y'all, this is the best flavor candy cane. Got no idea what flavor it is, but I love it. My favorite candy cane ever. I'm about to figure out what kind of candy cane this is. Because it is the best candy cane there is. I ain't nothing beat this. That's why when she would give me one of these and two normals, I said, You want? You like. Please give me a, two more of these. She said, okay. All right, yeah, good, okay, okay. Uh, 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 got it, almost got it. Uh, and here we go. Is that it? Guys, I almost have it. That's winning. I love you, Ken Canes. Can't be a I like that boat over there. That's a pretty nice boat. It's you could do some good fishing in that. You could haul on that. See, what we could do is I'd be done left my dad in that boat. Why? Like, he'd be calling all the storage in the pontoon, and he calls me. I'll be I'll be dashing over there back to him. <laughs> yeah, but. We're, we're living it right now. We're about to have to head out to the post office. Hold up. There's a fly on the camera. Hold up. There was a fly on the camera of the tablet. 
That would have been rough if I face if I swapped camera positions. Thank you, Bonnie. I'm a little sick. That's why I sound a little different, but. We found a tree, Cheryl. It's, it's, I meant Cheryl or, I don't know. I'm sorry. That, I think your name was Anna. Thank you, Anna. Me and my dad. We, 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 uh, we look alike, but me and Eric, if he didn't have curly hair on me and him would be twins. Hey, Blue. You can, Jody. We did, Monique. Thank you. Okay, Cheryl. I know, right? Miss Major's American. I mean, Miss. I don't know how to say that. Major's American. Blue Hill, uh, Linda. This is the culprit making my tongue blue. I just can't help it. Man, I'm going to be sick for the second time today if I run out of candy canes. I'm about to go right back. we just going to say I'm going to be sick again. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. I can't wait to go fishing again. We go, next time we go fishing, I'm going to ask Dad. I'm going I'm to make, make sure Dad brings y'all. Not make sure, but I'm gonna ask Dad. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Dad if he's gonna bring y'all. I don't know. The next time we're gonna go, there's a bee on my knee. Can we get off my knee, please? There we go. Uh, that was interesting. There's a bee on my knee. Thank you, Becky. All I saw was Davis. I don't know, how, Bucky or Becky. You know why I like this spot right here? You wanna know why I like this spot? Let me show y'all something. See that? See that sign right there? Oh, sorry. See that? Nice, nice. A county bait and tackle. Hey, Jenny. Yeah, it don't get. It don't get much better than that place right there, unless you drive all the way to. Unless you drive all the way to Bass Pro. Yeah, Jenny. Hey, Brenda. It's good to see all y'all. Yes, I am, Cheryl. Thank you, Jody. Really? How did he do that? How'd the fox manage to do that? And now that you mention it, I don't think I've ever seen a gray fox. Neat little creatures. Fast, too. I forgot I was eating this. Yes, I am, Michelle. 
I mean, but, you know, that has some benefits with it. Yeah, Deborah, he's... They can get through, like, high security things. This weekend, I'm going to go hunting. We're going to see if I shoot my first deer. We're going to shoot it. We're going to see how that's going to go. <laughs> You like my hat, Miss Slam Twiggy? Thank you. Thank you for the super chat, though. The PFG? Yeah, I didn't know that was in the brand until I went to Bass Pro. I went over there and got this shirt with it. I says World Wide Sportsman. Man. I mean, we was having a party while you were gone. I'm talking about like, tell me about it. Thank you, Bobby. I'm talking about, look at that, Merry Christmas. Yeah, but for them instead, I'm guessing. Yep. Yeah. Merry Christmas for them. Pretty much. We, we got a, what is a Venom Terra Hunter MT? I got a wheel? Yeah, we got two tires. So the tires were the expensive things. Yeah. Hear my brakes. Yes, sir, I'll hear it. Now I can go do my brakes. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Tire look good. There's some meat on them babies. <laughs> So the owner said, "Now nah, we're going to need a check or something. And I was like, I don't have a check. So the man said, it's okay, Mr. Hodges, just come back and pay us when, he said, maybe the internet will be up when you come back through. So you didn't pay nothing? No, I didn't get to pay for it because the internet was down, but he told me to come back. I feel like I've been alive for nine hours and 24 minutes and I ain't got nothing accomplished. That's what I feel like today. And then my water been spilling ever since. I see a super chat. Who sent the super chat, man? Miss Slim Twiggy. The heck you say?
$600 for two tires. That's plenty. when you look in the mirror in the morning. Well, like I forget uh, my hair's grown out now. So like I'm still getting used to it. So when I'm just waking up and I look in the mirror, I like think somebody done broke into camping. <laughs> Rick and Bob, is that you? <laughs> Oh, no, I really can't see it. Man, that's a deer over there. 
bear at the house. I also just saw a deer. Now there's a deer at the house right now. You know, it's down the field just right now. You ain't seen no deer in the field. I'm trying to show you. Tell me another one. Well, there's a deer in the house right now. Just tell me another one, I guess. That deer is laying down in the yard. I, I bet it's up now. Look at that deer laying down in the grass. Laying down, right? Just looking. It's really laying down. It's really laying down in the yard, just looking. I bet it's running now. <laughs> we done came in like we got wow. the place. What do we do? Deer done. Look at that deer right here, them Who's bedded. That? Right, here, right here in the middle of the screen. It's laying down, looking at everything. I just noticed the white truck. Strangers in the night. Who tap me? Ain't nobody in it. Man, he's been there a while. Wow. Look out now. There's some corn that stands up. <laughs> Man, that is a huge squirrel. Can I see? That joker huge, ain't it? Look at him. That is a monster squirrel. I've never seen a squirrel. Dang show he is. Smuggling a... Acorn. No, he's smuggling a canned ham is what he's doing. He's <laughs> smuggling a ham sandwich. Man, this is... Ain't nothing I love more in life than mechanic, and, and I gotta, I gotta do it so much. I'm thirsty. You, you drank my water. No, Dad, I brung two. Remember? It's all right. With that feeling touch, I need a home that understands what it's and feel them rush. Man, I gotta wipe that off. What in the world? I need. We had a slow mm -mm -mm -mm. Got to be the run. Mm -hmm. I gotta fix my truck now. I gotta fix my truck now. other stuff I wanted to do today, y'all. I do not want my 
camera jacked up like that. I mean, what? You know, what? I was just taking pictures like a champ. Mmm. There's some meat on them bad, them bad mama jammas. Woo! I'm talking about woo! A 35, 12, 50, 20. Ain't that great? You're supposed to be sick now. You know? <laughs> oh, you need to get the school excuse and put it in your bag before you lose it. Where's that at? It's in the console. There's your water. Well, thank you. I'm going to put it over here. That's brake fluid. That's power steering fluid right there. This is what I need more of. God, hey, you greasy already. <sighs> yes, sir. Huh? What? I can't hear you when you're eating a hamburger. Do I have two of these? No, just one, baby. One of them was your prescription. Well, I'm just letting you know. This was in my floorboard. Not in the console. Oh, that's a sign is full. Man, too bad I couldn't see the window. Man, that's great. No, today just keeps getting fabulous, sir. I overfilled it, which, you know, you know, I kind of, you know, asked for it because I didn't wipe the window to see in it. Yep, the window says it's pretty full. I don't even know why it's... Open that right here. Open this. Now pour this in there. Don't spill it, it costs $22. I ain't gonna feel it. Get in there, Judon. Until it's full. 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 Whatever this is, you need it. Yeah, that's like washer fluid. I mean, my window's been dirty for 10 months. All right. Like a whole lot of All right, close that lid back on it. Hmm. You know what else we need? Huh? I'm getting this right now for it. What you need to do is hold the camera so I ain't gotta hold the tripod. 
Let's just go ahead and remodel my whole truck. Hop up on that tire. Let's just go ahead and renew everything. <laughs> are you looking? I'm looking. What are you hearing? What, what, what's happening? Oh, gosh. Uh, that should not be broke. It's broke though. What did that hook up to? Mm. Is it good? Pretty good. I'm glad you can be, I'm glad you're just enjoying the fire out of it, ain't you? Oh, yeah. They sound like grandma over eating that. Something like that ox neck. She had everybody in the restaurant looking at her. They could hear her. Yeah, go ahead and try to bust that through your thumb. All right, smarty pants. <laughs> smarty breeches. What are you pouring that into? Everybody likes supposed to use a funnel. But you know what? I'm a hodge. I don't even put it in that. Nobody. I, I didn't use a funnel either. A hodges don't use a funnel. Unless it's really expensive. Mm. Unless you're using anything over $60 worth of material. Guess what? Normal people change their oil. Guess what? Yes, sir. What? Hey. <gasps> Almost fell off the tire. You don't have to change it when you can add a gallon at a time. <laughs> it just got brand new oil. Tip of the day, just say $49.95. <laughs> Save my life. My oh, fingers are hurting. I'm catching a cramp in my knee. <coughs> I want to do a full restoration the day before we can stop our video. I don't even know how I'm recording. I swear. Okay, I was recording your hand. So, you know, we got power steering fluid. We got washer fluid. We got oil. After we put $300 into the truck. Why not? That's broke. That's a vacuum. Or not the vacuum. Is that important? Uh, probably Ben's it came on the truck. Are you trying to show my nose hole hair? <laughs> I'm trying to show the broke wire. You're trying to show my nose hole hair. <laughs> no, I'm not. Ooh. See that broke wire right there? Look, Junior Snap. I'm trying to figure out where the vacuum line goes. <laughs> it looks like it goes right there. But you know that's the vacuum line. Is that smoking? It's smoking. Where? The, the very start smoking. The very start? You know that little... You ain't telling me nothing. Look, let me show you. Look, it's off. Uh, don't worry about it. Let's see. Let, let's see. You know what? I ain't this even worried about This is smoking. It. Yeah, it'll be all right. Okay. Like your shoes. Oh, God. I forgot I was up that high. <laughs> yeah. I almost ripped my shirt. It happens. <laughs> You did rip your shirt. I got that on video. I felt like it was about to rip. I think I just got that on video. I need something to wipe my grease on. What oh. happened to that oil cleaner? I got some somewhere. 
You had some of them hundred thing, hundred napkins. Where they at? I think it's in your what, trunk. Watch your recording until I can get the camera back. I'm watching what I'm recording. I'm recording you. Yeah. I think it's over there at your house. Nope, it's in your Corvette. I remember. It's gotta be. There's. I've been looking for this everywhere. And you went straight to it? I've been looking for this everywhere. It's been in my car this whole time. Oh, that's your old tripod. Yeah, this one lets up a long way. I gotta fix my shirt. This... Look at that necklace. You being Ooh. extra right now. How am I being extra? Being I found a memo. It's brand new. Let me see this. Uh, Why are you jumping? I'll have a reflex in the car. I'm going to go to the brothers. Oh, your reflex is because of your brothers? Yeah. <sighs> Got so... That means I bought front brakes and I'm gonna need back brakes. I'm just collecting myself a minute. You ever just had one of them days where, like, you just need a minute? I'm needing a minute. I need I need one of my batteries over there at the house what the heck where, where, where battery talk to me someone I walked into like a humongous spider web you see a spider on me where did you spot a web at? Like all around me. If I 
That was huge. I'm like, I almost got in a fight with myself for a second. <laughs> you ever had one that big? You almost got in a fight with yourself. Look, I need, I need one of my batteries at the house on charge. Like drill or big? I need the battery to go in my impact. What that like the the car battery? Baby. Big battery. The battery that I run my tools with. So like the little drill battery. That's that, on the red chargers over there at the house. That's a drill battery. Yeah, you can't get the buggy out because the car's in the way. Yeah, I just realized Life of a lifted truck. Like it didn't get it off the ground. Oh God. Not cool. Yes, sir. I wouldn't have it no other way. <clears throat> I'm forever fixing something. So that's what they done when they picked my truck up. Just, you know, not really motivated to do this. I mean, man, why I have the most vehicle trouble anybody human ever seen in their life. 
That's another Hodges trait. We like to complain about it. Because that helps. Makes us feel better. Look at this grill I put together last night. You better look out now. Gonna be eating like a champ. Guess where my huge two box is. Go ahead and guess. It's over there at the house. Can you feel it rush? I need a woman that I understand. Won't leave the heat it run. Yeah. Come on, I done got to be a master mechanic. On a Ford, if you have a Ford, just bring it back here. I'd love to do it. Cause I'm done. I just done became an expert, you know? I'm just a, just a Ford loving expert. Now I'm just gonna see how quick I can do it. You know, like, that's what country boys do. Country boys do. That's what we do. Right, let me see how fast we can fix this now. Come on, I done got so good I almost get it the right size the first time. There it is. Now I'm waiting on Elvis. He's playing in the minor bucket. Come on, Junior Snap, I'm waiting. I mean, you got four. 1,253 people waiting on you and you throwing the frisbee. I knew he was playing. I looked over the truck and he's throwing the frisbee. That's winning. Just to feel it run. Come on, man, run. Well, I mean, what are you waiting on? Can't say I'm ready to work. Hey, find where our grease rags are. There's a bucket of them somewhere. Like a bucket of grease. I am one of the trucks, babe. Matter of fact, I bought two buckets of them. So you ought to be able to just find it easy. That's a lot of meat on that tire. That'll last me about three more months. I 
I can keep complaining or I can just do it. There is nothing wrong with them brakes. Them brakes are, are dandy. Remember, I beat that on with, Lisa. with a chisel last time. You know what I need? Besides these napkins. Enjoy your little Seth, baby. Just enjoy your little Seth. Come and go in a heap. There's nothing that you understand. Because guess what? We didn't know exactly where that is. Welcome to We Don't Know What We Doing Today. Welcome to the show where we woke up and didn't realize all this was going to happen. Welcome to owning a Ford truck. How about that? There's your school excuse in the truck motor. <sighs> if you have a Ford, have no fear. So watching my videos, you'll be able to fix it too. Thank you, man. I mean, son, we just, I just done this. Oh, yeah, you just did this. We were fixing your uh, thing. I'm talking about I just done this. Like, a couple months ago. Why are we going to do all this again? New time? Because this axle that I just put in, the ring come off. Everything. The ring come off. You can see it right here. Yeah, y'all can see it. The <coughs> ring come off, which slung all the grease out, which got dirt in it, which broke the shaft. Yeah, that's broke. That's broke, which means I'd be like seeing about returning that. You know, normal people have sockets to fit this, but no, I'm a Hodges. 
I need a shirt that says I'm a Hodges. How many times do you think I'm going to try to see if I can turn that with my hand? Oh, it's trying me now. Yes, sir. You are welcome. Look, there is hope. Guess what I don't have? I don't have an extension to reach through here. Man, if I had a extension, it'd just make life great. Glad you could get that up on live. Sorry. Be here all week. <laughs> oh, man, I'm telling you. The chickens is out there giving birth. Listen at them. look for an extension because hey that's what you do when you thank goodness thank thank big Jesus that buffered y'all didn't hear all that complaining I was doing Hey, lady. Lady. Oh, I think we need to get in the Corvette. Let's go do some burnouts. That's what we need to do. Just go burn at it. Just go spin some wheels. That way I can work on that thing. <laughs> you know? Like, the person that told me I needed to clean up, look, I'm telling you, I need to send them a fruit basket. They inspired me. I've been cleaning up ever since. You don't understand. I've cleaned my house. I've cleaned my yard. I've cleaned my inside. I've cleaned my camper. I cleaned my bathroom. I cleaned my closet. I clean my floors. Look how beautiful. I clean. They inspired me to just clean. Look, I ain't kidding. I promise. I ain't being funny. I need to send them a fruit basket. They made me a better man. It looks so much better. 
I don't even think I can contain myself how much better it looks. I'm telling you, I clean my porches. I clean my swing. I clean the inside. I swept everything. You can't see it right now, but I cleaned everything. I'm talking about I ain't kidding, look. I clean this. I clean this. I clean this. <laughs> I really ain't being funny, like I'm serious. Hey, that person was right, but guess what? Hey, in all seriousness, when you're building a house by yourself, I mean, I, you know, that person wasn't wrong. But I just don't have time. I just don't have time to do it. Man, I didn't have time. That's what I needed. That's probably the socket I just beat off with a uh, that tool. That's your feeling, brother. And you lay a little one Understand. I'm not sure to tell me nothing. You know what? Be nice. A 19 ratchet wrench. 17. 15. Three quarters. Come on, baby. I bought the whole set. Where are you at? Nine, six, eleven, sixteen. Dang it. I'll just take this one. Take them all because you know what? That's my look. Woke up crying late at night when I was just a boy. And that mirrored hall, I don't remember the words. It's a pretty good one, though. Man, I love that color. Look at that color in that wood right there. Too bad it won't stay that color, you know? As I walk down that mirrored hall, this is why. Is it he said or she said or her said? Or... Daddy, I'm so afraid. How will I do with you gone this way? I'm just insulting a fire out of him, like not knowing his words. And he said, that's my job. That's what I do. <laughs> well, singing makes me feel better. 
trust me, music is like key to the soul. Just play a little music. Play a little music, you know? I'm about to get serious. You know, I got so much to do. I went and got a pressure washer so I could pressure wash my camper. When I told you I was cleaning, I ain't bull jiving. I washed every dish I could find. I, wa I cleaned the trucks out. I got all the dishes. I cleaned. I'm talking about. I've been cleaning everything I can find. Mama's like, hey, can you help me, baby? I was like, you know what? I'm in the middle of cleaning, but I'll help you. She said, well, you don't have to stop, baby. I said, I don't mind helping you, mama, you know? I said, I've been cleaning for five days anyway, so it's all good. What was I even doing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me mess my good shirt up. Cause that's, that's how you do it. <clears throat> you better watch out, son. Ask me, does that impact give a fat crap? It don't. You think it won't turn that off of there? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It don't care, son. Take my money for a truck. Do this because hey, that's what I get for trying to save three dollars. If I'd have bought this from, if I'd have bought this from town like I bought the one today, guess what? They would have took it back right there and warranted it. Yeah, that's blistered. That's like. That's cheap as. That ring didn't even come unclamped. It's still clamped. But that's what come off the boot. Where's that bolt?
I'm going to be wearing that off for about a week. So I went to the doctor's today. Took Bentley to the doctor's, y'all. Well, I, we didn't have an appointment, because guess what? There again, I'm a Hodges. So I did not make an appointment ahead of time. Y'all women folks, my hat's off to y'all. What do y'all do that you never get credit for? And never people never know what all women do. Hats off to you. Um... So we went, took little man to the doctor. I got there before they opened. Matter of fact, we were standing at the door when they unlocked it. Went inside. Oh, that woman was a, a grouch, baby. Look at that, broke a fingernail. That's winning. She said, uh, you need to wait in your truck. I said... I'm sorry. Uh, I'm Stephen Hodges. Like this is Bentley. I said he needs to see the doctor. Like she said, what time is your appointment? I knew when she said that, that I was in trouble. You know, I was like, I was like, we don't have an appointment. Uh, Oh, man, you would have thought I ran over her chihuahua. I really shouldn't say that. Really, that's the truth. She said, we don't take walk-ins. I said, well, I apologize, ma'am. I didn't realize he was going to be sick today, you know? She's like, well, you gonna, we're going to have to get you an appointment. I said, okay. I mean, I really understand. You know, I understand like people make appointments. So I ain't against that. So like I really do understand, you know, I can do better. She said, she went back there to the appointment book. We're going to see you this time, but next time, you're going to have to have an appointment. I said, I don't have a problem getting an appointment. I just didn't realize you like had to have an appointment. I said, like, I mean, like, it's all right. Like, so they seen him. We got his medicine. He's he's sick. He's he's sick right now. It's, he's got his uh, limp nose in his neck, swollen, and he's coughing up that yucky stuff. He ran a little temperature last night, where I gave him some ibuprofen and it come down. And I like I checked him like every hour. I went in there and put my hands on him. So you know he's he's doing all right. He's he's got a Z pack. They gave him a Z pack, and they gave him some uh, Zyrtec to take. And they gave him some Desilol, whatever that's for coughing. But uh, anyway, he's doctor said he's probably gonna run fever again tonight. He said he'd probably run a couple more times before it was out of his system. So he's got a school excuse for two days. So uh. You know, we could like load up the boat right now and go fishing. You know, we got an excuse. It ain't every day you get a pass at school. You know what I'd like? I ain't gonna take him out there feeling bad. He probably'd go though. He probably would go. But uh, no, I don't like not being there to see y'all. I like seeing y'all. Let me fix this. I really like seeing y'all. I mean, I can't like always have my eye on you. But I like seeing y'all. Uh, 
you know, you know, right in time for me to burp in your face. Ain't, ain't, ain't it great? These brakes don't look bad. Of course, I grabbed every ratchet wrench but the one the size I needed. Have no fear. I have every size you can think of. I'm gonna pop these brakes off and check them. Cause I bought front brakes. Cause I got something grinding. Woke up crying late at night when I was just a boy. I want to be greasy today. Just cause I want, I want to. I want to, you know? I want to get greasy. Because that's the only way to be. Greasy. There is nothing wrong with them brakes. They have plenty. Them brakes has plenty of meat left on them. Plenty. That's like nothing wrong with that. That's what I was wanting to check. So guess what? I have an extra set of front brakes now. I get a mind to change them just because, you know what? What else I gotta do? Yeah, baby, there you go. You like that, don't you? Last time I done this, I broke this bolt off in this. Ask me, can you over tighten it with a wrench and break it? Sure can. Probably tight enough because I, I got a pretty good clamp down on me. <sighs> you know what? Could be worse. Could be worse. It's not the brakes. So let me get my axle now. Because, yes, sir, let me get my axle. Cause that's my job, that's what I do. This is different. Oh, it's got a Carter pin. I just didn't see the Carter pin with the new one.
This don't even look new. I'm telling you, that's already had heat put on it. This already had heat on it. <laughs> I bet it's refurbished because it does not look new. Okay, we're putting it on anyway. Again. Come on, baby. No. There's no way. Oh, okay. I was fit to say. Oh, man. That's messed up already. Come on, baby. Oh, junk! Who knew you could have such fun working on a car? Who knew? It was just such a joy in this. <laughs> you know, you know, just like, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? Over here now. See me working on this. Ask me, does that socket gonna fit it? That's a big negative. <laughs> that don't much scare me, but that got me. Thought it was gonna get my finger. Something ain't 
job and that won't work. I'm so afraid How will I go on Where'd you gone this way This is a spacer that it needs Very bad I was about to maul up That's my job. That's what I do. Good thing I bought a tub of these. I mean, I just want to like... I don't want to work. I just want to bang all the drums all day. Yeah, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Now, that's that's nice. I can hold that now. It won't be greasy. I got to put this spacer on. I knew someone wasn't jiving with, with the Kool-Aid. Uh, uh, come on, baby. God, uh, I'm yeah, this is going to be fantastic. This is great right here. You ever wore a shirt that you're about to get in a fight with? That's what's going on right now. I'm about to get in a fight with this shirt I'm wearing. Come on, baby. Start in there. Start in there for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta love it. Can't tell me nothing now. Look. Can't tell me nothing now. I done got it started. Four-wheel drive engaged. I didn't realize it, but the way my truck was uh, with that spindle broke in there, yeah, I didn't have four-wheel drive. I didn't realize I didn't have four-wheel drive until now. I got four-wheel drive again now, baby. Get in there and get on that shirt. That's what I want. Get, get it greasy. Yeah, get it greasy. That's the way I want it. You know, I wouldn't have it no other way. Come on, baby. Yes, sir. How you like them apples? That won't turn no more. Come on. One more. You about burnt my arm out. Golly. 
Man, that's heavy as that frame gun. Lord. I believe I could tear the shirt. It feels like it's a tear. Let me just do this again, because you know what? Worked the first time. Now I have the right socket over there in my box. Guess what? I didn't bring it. Don't do me no good. digging now, ain't you? That's what I'm talking about. You going on there now, whether you know it or not. You ever needed a minute? Like I kind of need a minute. or something. That's ridiculous. That should not be that tight. Oh, now you want to turn. Not, you just tricked me. Man. I just feel like this should have been a big old uh, washer behind that, but I don't see one. That was the YouTube notification says, sorry, Mr. Hodges, we feel sorry for you. Thank you. Man, I'm like, I'm like. Thank God I'm a country boy, you know? Oh, that's pretty tight. I don't need it too tight. Yeah, you want it to be able to turn. Let me see. That's pretty tight. Oh, see, I can't turn it. That's what you want to do. Now I got to back it back off. Ow, that's still too tight. Back it off a touch. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to give my truck a heart attack. There you go. There you go, baby. We can work with that, can't you? You like that, don't you? 
All right. Clean up on aisle three. Oh, I got it on my shirt. Can't have nothing. You know, can't have nothing. did have Loctite on it. Look at that. That's Loctite from that boat. You know, I had no idea I was going to be a mechanic in the day. Nor having to get tires. Nor having to go to the doctor. You never know, you know. Could be worse. I could be laid up in the hospital right now. Because the woman that pulled out in front of me today... I'm just glad my truck stopped. That's why I got to like see about these brakes like right now. Because you know, that dirt is like in the grooves of my skin. I don't believe that's coming off. I think I might have to borrow a bath tub to get that off. Yeah, that's like down in there like That'll be on there a week from now. Yeah, that's not coming off. Oh, that's a big old wad under there. Got it. Carter pin. I knew there was something else. That's why I was looking like I was looking. Where that Carter pin at, Dad is? Dad is. Put the Carter pin back in there to keep that bad mama jammer from backing off. Oh, yes, sir. Look at what all we learning today. How to work on a Ford. Just go buy you one. They sell parts every day. Because you know why? They tear up every day. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Oh, gosh. Don't help me. Help me. No. Get it on me. Why don't you? I wish I knew what that weighed. It's heavy. That's heavier than a, than a rascal. Uh, hold him, Hook. Hold him. Oh, that ain't lined up. What in the world? I bet you that weighs 150 pounds. God. It's gonna make me get off my bucket. I was trying to do this sitting on my bucket. It's whooping me. It's trying, you know? It's trying, I'm trying to do it without getting it on my clothes and my bitches. But it's trying. I'm trying to feel for the hole, you know? <laughs> you better watch out, son. <clears throat> Always run these in like this. Never. What is burning? Never put a gun on these without running them up. You want to talk about you being a mess? You be changing your studs out. Because guess what? That impact gun don't give a crap. 
it'll go strip it out and break it. And then you got a problem. If you don't, listen to this. Most, most cars have jacks. You see this Milwaukee Impact? It's a three quarter inch. I ain't never told y'all to buy nothing, ever, ever. I ain't never told you a product was good. I told you a product ain't good. This battery packed impact, trust me, if you on the road and you have a flat tire, this you want. You need to buy one. They're, I don't know how much they cost. I can't remember. But you put this in your trunk. And trust me, when you get a flat tire, you will be that bad mamma jamma will pay for itself the very first time you use it. Most cars have got a jack, but they don't have that. So anytime I go out of town or fishing trip, I always make sure I take this with a battery because you, oh, that's the ant. How you doing today? Well, well you, you shouldn't have got on there. So, you know, it's a little pricey, but like one time of using it. You'll be telling your friends about it. I've stopped. I've stopped and helped a pile of people beside the road with a flat tire. Because I have my jack and I have my impact with me. A bunch of people, probably 20 people. That's a bunch of people. I mean, I mean, how many people have you helped change a tire? But, I mean, I ain't bragging. I'm just saying I knew I had my jack and I knew I had my impact and I knew I could make their life so much easier. That man, bless his heart, he, he was in an RV. He was a military guy. When his tire blew out, it tore his fender off his camper. Big, nice, beautiful, immaculate camper. I'm talking about like, I'm talking about like cost more than, just, just, just say, you know what immaculate is. I stopped, you know, you gotta kinda be, you can't just pull up on somebody when they broke down. You know, I held my hands up. I was like, I was like, do y'all need help, sir? <laughs> you know, you don't want to get blistered by old military man. But anyway, I helped change his tire. Got, got the tire put on there like in 30 seconds. That man's like, Talking about what I owe you. I said, nothing. He said, BS. I'm going to give you something. I said, man, if my grandma was broke down or my grandpa, I wish somebody would stop and help them. You don't owe me nothing. That's just a kind act of kindness. Well, I offended the man because I didn't take his $20. But his wife got my number off the side of my truck. <laughs> she looked up my address and wrote me a letter. And it said, P.S., please take this $20. He still won't shut up about it. <laughs> so the woman wrote me a sweet letter and thanked me. And I thought the $20 in there from him was just hilarious at that point. I was like, I love it. You know, I wouldn't have took his money for nothing, but the way it was put in the letter, like, P.S., he still won't shut up about this $20. <laughs> that's, like, that's like my entire day. That made my entire day. I thought that was wonderful.
something going on with my drive shaft, I believe. Don't look bad. And I don't see no brake dust on my rims. You know, I can't tell. Oh. Oh, gosh. That's when that rock just blistered me a good one. See what's wrong with this fatty. You know, maybe it feels better. I got something going. I got something going out with my brakes. It's not the front. It's got to be the back here. I don't know why. The only thing I know to do is take it off and look at it. Imagine you side the interstate with your family. Have a blowout. Look how quick. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I got good news and I got bad news. The good news is, yes, it's the back brakes. The bad news is I don't have them. I mean, who knows they need brakes and don't buy them. Who knows that they have a brake problem and only buys the front? I don't know why, but I thought it was the front. I didn't know it was the back. again.
you know. But I'll uh, come with new ones anyway. Remember when I said, buy your loved one some of these for Christmas? Especially if they own a Ford. You want to make them happy. Tub of towels. To my, I can't own a Ford without them. What would I do if I was old? You know, I say that all the time. That, that, that makes stuff so hard. And I said that in front of Daddy one time. Daddy said, you wouldn't do it. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point. He's like, you wouldn't do it, son. You just wait until somebody else could do it. This is how you skin your knuckle, like. You skin it up to beyond recognition. Just like this. This is how it starts. Almost got it. Almost got that little piggy. Gosh, Lee, that's supposed to just come right out of there. Oh, it will now. I bent the fire from her. Are you seized up in there? What's the deal? Oh. Hey, you like them apples? That's what you do about that. Them ain't even like, I mean, they a little thin. But they shouldn't have been scrubbing. That's a little thin. <laughs> That's a... See, that one definitely got a little more life on it. A little bit now. I mean, like a month or two. You know, they are wore out, but this ain't scrubbing. This still ain't the scrubbing sound I'm hearing. It's got about an eighth inch, I reckon. No, that ain't an eighth. That's like, that's pretty serious. We got a little tornadic weather, look. It quit. I need to get my jack stand.
I bought brake pads before and never put them on. I'm gonna get my Let me get my jack stands. I said, Daddy, I'm so afraid. Where'd you go this way? I do. And I said, I bet they in my truck. Oh, my gosh. They in my truck under all that wood. Uh, I wonder if Daddy's got some. That's my job. That's what I do. Be with you today. How about a T? How about a T top to a '81 Corvette? Like them things worth money, and it's just out here getting blistered. Where a jack stand at? I need a jack stand. Need a jack stand. Oh, how about I left a how about I left a light on in here? Not cool. I'm an Indian outlaw. I'm a Cherokee and watch y'all. My baby is a Chippewa. Oh, she's a one of a kind. Now, I have a set of jacks. He has a set of jacks. And I don't see nary one of them. I mean, dang, all I need is one. See what I mean? Man, if I got... If I have a set of brakes in here, life is to be great. There's my nail gun for roofing the house. There's a nail gun. There's a nail gun. There's a nail gun. There's a funnel. Surprise, I hadn't needed that. Wait, I did. I needed it earlier. There's a C clamp. Gonna need that. There's a pair of shoes. Well, hello there. Didn't know them was in there. Yeah, them's like ain't that old neither. Can't have nothing. Keep forgetting. I got enough screws in here to start a collection.
I can send a bridge up in the smoke. I can't count. What is that? Well, that's the new brake pad for the front. Come on, baby, where you at now? Man. to be able to put new pads on because it's pushed the piston out. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, that was in your face again. So. To be able to put new pads on, this is the only thing you need to know to save you hundreds of dollars. Guess what? We gotta do it with a Ford because you know what? That's what I have. Stick your old pad on here. You have to push your cylinder back in here to get your brakes on. Even though I don't have my new brakes yet because you know what? I gotta go buy them. It gets better. And yes, look, I bent that. Everything I use mechanically, I, I usually do this too. Probably because I love mechanicing so much. This is great. You stick your old pad in there. Put your clamp on it. When you get it, you know, undone all the way with your one hand you use them because hey, that's how mechanicing goes. Be nice if y'all could see it, couldn't it? That's what I was thinking. Be nice if y'all could actually see what I'm doing. Stick it, you stick your pad on your caliper. And then you put your big C clamp on it. This is a six inch C clamp. And then just squeeze it. You squeeze that piston back in and what it does is it pushes your brake fluid back up to your reservoir. That's when your brake fluid gets low. When your pads wear down pushes your pistons out, which fills them up with fluid, which makes your reservoir low. So if you check your brake fluid and it's like low, it ain't exactly like you, it ain't like, oh, I got a leak. Uh, yeah, you need to check your pads. Just do that in slow. If you do not put that pad on there to, to push it back in even, it'll bind. Guess what? You won't have to bind one up at one time. And as mad as you'll get after he binded it up, I'm talking about nobody never had to tell you that again. Trial and error. All right, that's pushed all the way back off. That baby's ready for new pad. See, it, it pushed that cylinder back in. That just pinched me like he ain't no tomorrow. Pushed it in like a like a glove. I mean that pinched me like almost made me mad for a second. 
So I'm gonna take my old pads up there to the do hickey my hickey. And guess what? We're gonna go buy some new pads. Cause you know what? This is America. And as long as you drive a Ford, you're gonna need parts. I can't drive my truck because, you know, it's jacked up. I can't drive my dually because it's got a ton of wood on it. I can't get my Corvette out because Aunt Dina, Aunt Dina's here, or was here. I bet she didn't leave her keys in there. This is East Dublin. Everybody leaves their keys in there. What? Bet you five dollars. No keys in it. It's locked like a champ. Man, this is East Dublin. Nobody locks their stuff around here. I don't. Come get it. I'll file a claim. That's the only way I can get out of fixing it all the time. That's pure karma right there, baby. Look at him. Look at him. I got to get my charger. Hang on. I hit my head like a champ. Just hold it down in here, okay? Man, you need to turn the air on. It's hotter than three hogs in a sleeping bag in here. <laughs> ain't never gonna be to sleep in here again. Look, China man, I'm a little dirty. Grab that charger for me right there. This one? The one from a tablet. It's emergency. Yeah, that. I don't need to plug it. Hey, that's what I need. Yeah! You like that, didn't you? Yeah, you're lucky. I have I'm lucky I have answered. I gotta go to town. You wanna go? Stay with Granddaddy. Good. Good. <laughs> I'm sick. I don't, I don't hate you. Just hit you up. Yeah, I know. I'll be back, baby. Yes, sir. Bye. Love Bye. Love you. Charger. Man, why do I just catch the devil? You know? See what I mean? I can't even just simply go to the store because I can't find where my charger is at. Oh, there it is. It fell down between the seat. It's charging. I need check. Okay. Let's go get brakes. Let's go get more brakes. How about that? And go to Dairy Queen. Uh. What's love got to do with it? 
guess the devil with it. Who needs a pot can? Pot can make Oh, God. Scared me again. Wipers come on. Wasn't expecting that. No, was we? Don't worry, be happy. Something's going on with this car. Ah! Uh, midget man, it's me. I'm just a jack of all trades today. Sounds like a vacuum line's off. Air filter shouldn't be dirty. Oh my gosh. This will have something to do with it. I mean, look at this. You know, hey, let's just mechanic today away. Without a tripod. <clears throat> Boy, that, that joker's gonna be mad at me. Man, he's gonna be mad. Yeah. 
Which makes you wonder, how did he get it in the air box with it closed? I can't do this crap and hold the camera. There's a boot that runs down in that fender. Yeah, let me get my tripod. That's crazy. I was trying to go get... I took it out, but I was trying to go get brakes, but the car ain't running too good. I need to check the transmission fluid, too, because it's slipping. Tom out like, but it wasn't for... That's got to be the little battery, is what I want to know. If it wasn't for me working on stuff, I mean, I just don't even know what I'd do with all my spare time. Spare? I didn't know you had none. You know? I mean, he's winning. That one's got 38 pounds of acorns in it. <laughs> yeah, dog, he's, he's putting it on it, boy. You know you're just running for the whole winter, right? Yeah, he's, he's probably not going to make it. He's going to start to do this. I mean, he's been all year hiding in acorns in that. Hey, you really want to mess him up, drive to the neighbor's house and start to death anyway. <coughs> Pretty sure. <coughs> you think I was playing? Yeah, let's get her done. Shaking bait. Man, them look brand spanking new. Don't they? Hey, them right there get it, do you? I definitely want to get her done. So, one there, one there. It's over there at my house. It'd be best if you go get it and suck all that mess out of it because you ain't never going to get it out of there. If you don't suck it out of there, you won't get all that grass. And... You ain't never that thing. It might not be like mine. I might have had a little thing that went down and stuck there. Hey, little Toyota. Toyota ass. Yeah, you might have to get, you're gonna have to get your back. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna solve it all that out. There's no possible way. It's gonna suck it into the intake. I can't believe that filter ain't trash. Hey, are you going? Yeah. I don't, I just don't want to say nothing like, oh my God. You know, like, how bad is the air filter? It's got a bunch of grass. It's like, it had stuff in it, but it ain't bad. Well, it looks brand new. That's good. Poor little squirrel gonna start slap to death. I bet you that's a chipmunk. I don't know what it is. He tiny. Look at that. What reservoir is that? Power steering? Yeah, it's about empty. That? Yep. Power steering fluid? I got some. I bought some from my truck. That's cool. Let me it's get the fire. That's washing fluid. It's definitely empty. Hey, you check the place fluid? I just had a whole bottle of power steering fluid. I, I didn't get it. It's definitely low. Hey, Bye. run, run me up. I heard to get these brakes. Cause brakes? I got to buy back brakes for that. that I was going to drive this, but 
I can come back and shop back this out. Yeah, you definitely gonna do that. Unless somebody like cranks it up before you get back, and then you're gonna be like, Dad, Daddy, not to crank this up. Your mama done stuck out of here. They gone. Hey, y'all. Hey. <laughs> Your mama said, I'm gonna leave you with it. How y'all have a pleasant day? I'm gonna leave you with it. Yes, sir. Yep. Oh, look out, look out. I'm talking about new shoes, new shoes. Just got them today. You want to run them out? You got a stick? Or do I do it with my knife or gun? How you going to get run? I'm talking about like, I don't much, don't much care about right this man. Hey, don't tell you YouTube, don't be talking to me about my truck. Look, now you got it, ain't you? Got it with you. What? Got it with you. What do I got with me? All of it. What? I have to eat in my truck. They don't. They ought to see my new vehicle. I can guarantee you, ain't nobody give a fat crap about what is in your truck. Or... But one day, one lady said, my God, you need to clean that thing out. I was like, but it's a work truck. Hey, tell daddy don't crank that car up till I blow that filter out. Hey, you turn the radio off before I make nothing. He put 800 acorns in your air box. I saw that. He's going to start slapping down for this cold. Nothing to eat. He don't be hungry. Hey, y'all. Hey, I give him 100 biscuits. We're trying to save the world. You want 100 biscuits? One part no, of the time. No, baby, I just I ate at Zaxby's. Nasty. I just ate at Zaxby's. Oh, that rascal right there. You will hold it to his mouth, he'll eat it. A chicken strip, and I mean not like friendly good chicken strip, but a showing up trick in strip. Yeah, they good. This, this that box. little bit of dirt won't kill you. All right, All right I love y'all. you, boy. Okay, okay. Hey, I'm gonna be right back. We love you back. No. But I'm gonna get That's that rascal two so now. Right. I'm gonna get him tuna. Eat that boy. Boy, that's like. That's like. That ain't like friendly goods. That's like a black girl cooked that. She might have did. I'll never tell. You heard? Mm -hmm. I mean, is that not nice or what? If you have some light bread, you can make a sandwich. I'm gonna chug the dip. Ah! I mean, I come um. and, and saw you pocket problems. And why not That's a piece of chicken strip there. Bad rice for our change your life, man. You definitely won't be hungry you eat four of them. Mmm, I can hungry down. Got to get to you. You should have got it when it was warm, though. Oh, Jesus. I ain't picking. That thing was right, what I'm telling you. It was right. Yeah, I seen them new shoes on there. That must be nice to have new feet on there. So you want to try it in the mud hole again? Why not? Hey, I didn't know my four wheel drive wasn't working. Hey, it worked fine. We come right on out of that rascal. Yeah, but that front dry shaft was broke. Hey, they sell dry shafts at Thomas's too. I just bought one and put it in it. Like it's in it now. So we can go mud on it. Is what you're saying? I put right? a new one in it because my boot was come off. Right. Which I just bought a new one because my boot come off. Well, right. when I took it off like it was broke. It sheared off. Dang. I had no idea. Are you talking about the CV axles? Yeah. The drive shaft? Oh. I mean, I ain't even put it in four-wheel drive. But it's right now. Yeah, it's got a brand new one. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Let's go mud bucket. It just rained for two solid days. Let's go blitz. Let these brakes on. I don't give a fat crap what we do. But I got to go drop something off today. Look at him, dude. Here we go. I do. I thought we was going mud bogging. We are. I'll just drop that off and pick up a check. That's it. That problem's over with. You know what I'm trying to tell you? But I tell them, it's pretty, pretty nice today. But it's beautiful weather for a blistering cold. Put you right back at I mean, I love air conditioning. What? Don't threaten me. Around here, change your life like a chicken strip. Might, this ain't like no pole, but you turn on high and blow. Sent me 
Give it a good time. We all go Look, to jail. This is a Ford on zero. This is a Ford on wide open right here. Tell me I'm lying. Feel it. You ain't wrong. That's turbo mode, bro. That thing's doing it. Look at him. I turn on heat, you come out some clothes. Like, oh my Jesus, this ain't right. Oh, you been in here when duck season? Hey, I'm pretty sure that's a vacuum line off on that car. Probably I is. can hear it going. Boop, 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 boop. I would probably say you're right. That's what made me check the air box. And then I found like a Christmas present. Well, what you gonna do about a poor chipmunk gonna perish because you didn't leave his acorns alone? He's worked all year to save up two nuts a day. That's why you don't keep all your nuts in one place. <laughs> Hey, can I tell you a joke? I can't tell you We've a joke. Lied, you not. No, just when you can't. It's funny though. It? It's hilarious. I, I spent so. Mountain Dew out when I was told it this morning. <laughs> I was like, that is hilarious. Oh man. It's good. It's about how you load a dishwasher. It's good to see y'all here. I, can't I ain't you. been I'm there gone. to look at chat. And guess what? I've been, I've been just working away today on all these lovely stuff I have. Lovely. Hey, when man. I woke up this morning, I had no idea. No. I was gonna get jumped on at the doctor's office. Jumped on. I'm not jumped making on. it. I didn't make the point for Bentley. And they jumped on. I just got there whenever they. I was standing there when the woman unlocked the door. She didn't look happy. She was like, who do you think you are? I was like, wanted to be one. I wanted yeah. to be number one. Number one. Because, you know, I know, I know if you don't have an appointment. You got to be number one. You better get there like when they open. That's what I did. That's right, yeah. After she chat me for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Could have seen him and left. I mean, I could have been then gone by the time she got Lord, there. Lord, how much? The only reason I got seen is the doctor come up here because of all the commotion. Because he felt bad for you. Well, I knew the doctor. Oh. So you better control your wife. <laughs> that ain't how it went down, but... I got you. The doctor said... <laughs> just put him down. Like, just put him down. Yeah, he's got his little boy like, sick. You don't understand. You know I mean, the insurance is going to pay. We're paying customers. It'll yeah. be all right. That's right. Paying. We're paying customers. That's right. But not stiffing with a bill. Maybe no, no bull jiving. All bull jiving aside, when that when that open when that when they opened them phone lines, they was three women sitting there, back to back to back to back, for thirty solid minutes. I watched them book from nine o'clock all the way to closing in about thirty minutes. They was three answering phones side by side, and they were saying, would you like 10 15? That's available. But the woman over here gave 10 15 away. She's like, 10 15's gone. She's like, well, I'm going to have to put you down at 10 30. Is that fine? Yeah. Are you going to be late? If you're going to be late, don't worry about it. Yeah, because we'll give it to somebody else. If you're not, not going to be here, then like somebody, <coughs> we'll give it to somebody that will. will. I'm like, man, they winning. They look, I would not like the job they had. Like, look, you can't be and then I come in team. with no appointment. I just oh, yeah, threw a wrench in their whole system. Whole schedule was running because of you. They waited their whole day to chap somebody just like me for no appointment. You better be glad all four of them didn't jump on you. Hey, if the doctor hadn't come in there and spoke up, I don't believe I'd have got Bentley would have got seen. Like you had to take him to ER. Like why didn't you take him to the doctor because the nurses are mean. I don't. I don't think anybody there was happy but the. Well, there was a nurse that was blonde. She had it pretty happy. She's always happy. She's the doctor's the only two happy always people happy. I seen and all day. Dang. Yeah, but how do you feel about getting paid for ten hours when you book for thirty minutes and you get a whole check? So why should you be mad? I'm just saying, you know, it could be <coughs> worse. It could have not been seen. <coughs> you know, <coughs> I work for the I doctor. I could have T boned that truck today that I skidded about Dang. 40 feet into. You, you know, things could be worse. I could not have a truck to fix. You know, true. I couldn't have hands. 
You always got to look at the brighter side. I'm just glad. But what if you slammed your hand in the door this morning, taking Ben to the doctor and had to go to the Fairview because your hand was broken and none of this even happened? You know, there's a brighter side to everything. Yeah, like Griffin's cooking chicken right now. Yeah. Boy, don't it smell good. That's pretty rough. It's, per it's violent. Man, that gets in your skin. It ruins your nose. I tell you what. <laughs> That's horrible. Glad I done ate that chicken. I don't believe I, I can handle it right now. I could. Woo. I brought a bike going to your house and they were nice and warm and I ate one and I was like, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Man, you know what? I can't. Maybe my car to go through. Maybe. You never know. It's been you know. one of them. It's been one of them. I know. Days. Hey, I, I get it. I mean, last time I went and seen my daughter, he had a beautiful RN. Oh, she was so How old. about? She was Tanner old. up here has got a Ranger with a 150 on it. Said he no. paid, said he paid $2,200 for it. He want to sell it. But no. He asked kind me how much I'd give him, and I wouldn't tell him because, first uh -huh. of all, first of all, if he's selling it, then he knows what he wants for it. That's right. And if he can't tell me what he wants for it, then why should I just Put throw a number out there? His stuff. Right. Are we talking aluminum or fiberglass? Oh, no. This is a Ranger with a ZX R4. XR4. XR4. 150. So it's like a 90s model. No, it's like an 87. Yes, but I don't know what you're talking about, like a 481 or something like that. They wrong about the pricing. I didn't want to say nothing. I didn't first want first to of all, I would never put anybody down about something they have. I, I will. I say, look, you take that trash somewhere else. Well, I ain't I like that. I got junk at my house, why well, I want yours. But, now getting back to the basics in life. <laughs> so, what would you get a poor fella just between me and you? Because obviously he's poor. Oh, no. Mr. Tanner ain't poor. If he's got to sell his boat, he's poor. No, he bought that boat to flip it. There's the boat right there. Oh, that's no bad looking ranger, ain't it? No, that man's... Uh, he ain't 1500 a day for it. That man ain't poor, son. He's, he's got money he'll never spend. When you got to sell your boat, you poor. I don't care how much money you got he to buy. He bought it. Listen, that don't matter. If he you got to buy it to sell it, you poor. He told me he bought it to flip it. So he wants 4500 I think, probably. Yeah, I don't see that happening no time. I don't see it happening completely. I mean, restored. I bring him a 20-footer up here with a 200 stinking motor on it. Well, man, I didn't want to tell him, but I mean, if the boat can be made nice, like with new carpet, as yeah. long as the motor's got good compression, that right. but it ain't worth, it ain't no five or $6,000 boat, even oh with all God. that done. Like, we can get two thirty-two hundred dollars like pristine is about it. And yeah. that's like, boy, you needed a boat, you know? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't tell them that. 80 mile on right here. Jesus, you got all the goody out of them right Man. This ain't even the side that was scrubbing. Sorry, y'all. We back at the parts house. You have I heard you. Well, I know you ain't gonna believe it. This goes on a Ford. Why wouldn't he believe that? It's an 01 F 150 rear brakes. I bought the front today. Thought it was the front squealing. It's the back. I bet he's right. There ain't too many Ford people can bring the brake pads here on. They mostly fall off in the road. <laughs> Huh. Hey, things are looking up. Of course. Tired tell him buy a Chevrolet. Hey, man. Parts don't fall off in the road. Them, they sit still too long. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have enough road time to tear them up. Yes, sir. Hey. So what you trying to say is you've rebuilt every bit of this right here on that truck? I bought all that. Every bit of it. I bought the this, whole thing. That, thing. this. XP. Oh, you want? Yeah. Lord, damn. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That one, I, I replaced all uh, that. That's the uh, synthetic uh, that's a lot. filter for Being synthetic oil. Yeah. Specially designed for this. Man, you got all the beauty out of that, right? Oh, okay. You got, uh, 
How much is that drink machine? Well, yeah, I, uh, what I'll do we, is... How much is that drink machine? Yeah, you can use the regular one. Five, seven, eight, six, seven. But I'm I'm coming. I'm... Oh, oh, I see it. What's that? I'm sorry. Hey, uh, $15 piece. Oh, oh that 57 or 60? Let me look. It seems looking. Internet's running real slow today. Yeah, we are. We tried to do it. Yeah, we tried to do it. Yeah, we tried So what I'll do is um, I'll estimate Wednesday. Oh, no. If I'm sure you too. Deduct, uh, add it to it, and if I overdo it, I'll subtract it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Hey. You know there was eggs one in the truck, cold. I didn't know that. It's oh, still so that one was $15. <laughs> <laughs> I put the credit card in the That's what I thought. Yeah. She said you were starting with this, so I got it for you. <coughs> it's pretty bad. $15 for Coke? No, I, I ate today. And when I slammed on brakes, my drink, or Bentley's drink, went in the floorboard. Yeah. So I had to give him my drink. Yeah. So I've been like a, I've been a while without something. So you saying I should charge twenty for it? I'm saying I could care less. As long as okay, I get Okay, sorry about that. Eight thirty-seven. Oh, I don't when he talks like this now. For the regular well, one. Yeah. And the XT is. Uh, <clears throat> well, then if we pushing our luck, how about ten thousand? So I can go buy that boat and then give it to you and make money. Eleven thirty-seven. That's winning. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Today. Yeah. Hey, walk right here and let me show you this right quick. We'll leave that for a second so I can show you this right here. Come here, look at this. Y'all don't go anywhere. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 Yeah. Well, it, is this on that diesel? I actually it's still looking. That was pretty good, man. I'm sorry. I thought about it, and I was like, oh, my Jesus. That's rough. Man, uh, man. You can buy a motorcycle. You can get tires up here for it. That's not his engine that good, is it? Sir? What size engine? Oh, uh, Triton. Four wheel drive. V6? V8. Okay. V8. Okay. Let's do that one right there. 4.6. When you put it in four low, they don't want Chevrolet around, sound like it. He brags it goes tick a lock, tick a lock, mm. tick her. Hey. And quits. Hey. <laughs> okay, rear brakes. It's gonna be all right. Yep. What brought you to the parked house kit stuff for you? What? You forward? Yeah. What was it again? The Chevrolet just done killed two wild. deer and got hit by an excavator and still going. You can't hurt a Chevrolet. I got 483,000 miles on it. Got a busted lifter, a cracked head, and two bad spark plugs. I still make it to the house. <laughs> That's a fact. He thinks it's a kid, but it's a fact. I crank it up, it looks like 25 people crank up two stroke boat motors. It's horrible. It's a I need one of them right there. I got it. <clears throat> I'm a crook. When you look at the screen and match the button, you can look at the similar tape. It's firing in the cylinder, ain't firing in the cylinder. Tape breaks are hard or not. Oh, oh. It's a little different. Jesus Christ. 49, 18. You see rear, right? Rear, yes, sir. Brian got that sandwich made for him. That look like a sandwich you make. 
<clears throat> it has seven eggs on it, a half, a half of a ham, like a block of cheese, <laughs> half a loaf of bread. I'm like, that's enough for everybody. Dang. I think he even had grits on the side. I'm like, what are you gonna do with the grits? You can't eat all that. So I don't know. It was, it was, it was about that tall. Ham and egg. One thing we left out was the bone. Hmm. I'm talking about Lord, she, she can make a sandwich. I give a girl that now. She ain't joking. She gonna keep her man at the house. <laughs> it's a fact. If you feed him enough, he'll get tired and go to sleep. Turn like me. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> you feed us right, we'll stay home. We'll do right. Yeah, Act least right. At least you'll come on. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> we all know it. Y'all know what women think. Here's the truth. Feed us right, we'll come home. We'll be we'll be right. Just feed us. Yeah. All right. You ever see a man just ate a ham sandwich and twelve eggs that was mad? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Here's your another one. Everybody wanna know why bass boats so fast? Cause a yeah, woman can't see you smiling at 80 mile an hour. That's why bass boats so fast. Right. How yeah. you gonna see him smile if you're doing 80? Oh, let's see what diameter is. Holy mackerel. Son of a. I can't say that one here. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Derek Dollar. I thought I knew you. You do. I believe him. But don't tell her about you know who I am. Uh, I got a good idea. <laughs> I thought I recognized you. You face some voices for me. Yeah, for me. But, but I have had extensive brain like trauma, so I could forget now. Sir, I know. I know you. That other side you. should have the clip. This is the one. Yeah. Yes, sir, that's it. I got those cards. Yeah. 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 Ain't nothing to do it, bro. I know. I ain't bragging about there. Lord, how much? Hey, we had some fun there when I was in high school. We, had, we could smoke, we could drive our yeah. motorcycles. You do cool. it, I could go up on one or two. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah. He knows what I'm talking about now that being quiet. We could take our guns to school with us and go deer hunting that evening. I was struggling all day long. Look at him. You do it now, you're going to jail. Straight to jail. I'll be going to that name. That's my customer. What's the name of that? Stephen Hodges. I found him pretty good. It's been a few years, yes. Danny, okay? He's good. He went there, but it was like 10 years different. Oh, yeah, because I got that cylinder on. Yeah, I had like 20 on the camera. Right at 20 on the camera. Yes, sir. Yeah, I was supposed to be graduating from one of you. I was in Auburn. Yeah, this would cover that. That was another bright decision I made. It's a lot better than me. I don't know which one it was, really. I got in there and they would holler at me. I mean, all of these have got that lever. Instead of, instead of, yeah. of all that fun, it's got a quick release. Yeah. You can tighten it down and squeeze it. How do you, you make a bad choice? It's out there. I know you're right. Yeah. How do you place your truck? Same thing over there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It sure stands out. Yeah. Put your own front and put them on now. Yeah. yeah. Remember? Right. Now, Volkswagen, you had to have a... Right, that's that was because on Volkswagen... Hey, you behave. Yeah, y'all be good. Hey, watch out. Parts might fall off a truck. Hey, I got old food. Heck yeah, that's the best one. Yeah, and that's why they have to be there. Everything runs slow. Yeah, yeah. So, the Bentley, he's back at school, yeah, shot it up now. No, no he's, he's going to be out go tomorrow, out. day and tomorrow. Yeah, he's just chilling at the house. Kind of in yeah. Man, I'm going to go to the doctor. <laughs> what you see at home well? Yeah. No, you, no, sir, you don't need to go to work tomorrow. You need to stay at home and rest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think this weekend is having that duck season. He tells me that it's just for him a whole week. How's that, really? Yeah, you got to stay home. <laughs> Damn. Damn. All right. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Sorry to storm. Yeah.
Y'all have a great day now. See you later. We got, you got a, here's Corey and Keith. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Help me pray for me. Hey, I'll be a bunny. Who was that? I mean, I know I went to school with him. But I, don't know, I don't remember his name. He said his name about three times. Did he? Yeah. I, you can't never learn that when you're talking. You know? It's hard to learn something when you talk all the time. At least I'm being honest about it. Oh, you got some turning lane right now. For real? Yeah, there's 900 people coming. Everybody in Dublin decided to go this way. Let's get to my bank where it works. Got a bunch of time to have you. It's too far. Man, I gotta get up and see somebody today. I might wind up stuck in that day. Oh, we're gonna try to check the yard. Working on songs. They said. Do you ever throw any money off of TikTok? No, sir. Your mama does, don't she? No, on TikTok. Huh? We don't. We don't mess with that. Well, which one y'all mess with? We do YouTube. Okay. Y'all want to throw money off of it? Yes. All right, try it now. Try it now. We should drop some new water out too. Where they just hide it out there? I don't know. Went all over town. See, you had something. They're supposed to be here between 3 and 4 today to see what's going on here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I think it worked that time. It did? I was quick. Do you One want less. me to give you another receipt? Hey, no. no, it's all right. All righty, well, thank you. Thank you. See you Good later. Night.
said more than I even said. Oh, Lord. Oh. Bentley didn't like that. Oh, Lord. He went off. He was ready to jump out. Even sick. He, he was jump. like, I'll dust you right now. He was you like, do that. I'm sick. What's wrong with these people? They ain't got no home training, discipline, work ethics, compassion, loyalty, kindness, forgiveness. There's a lot of wrong people today, man. For one you thing, know? I ain't never been blistered T-bone by the Ford, and it showed. I was going to get that saw this morning, right? Yeah. Them little in the Malibu thought they was going to run up beside me right here and dump that BH hog <laughs> and pass me. <laughs> and then when they got to the front corner, they seen the, how bad the truck looked. They like, I'm not even going to try this. They <laughs> got right in behind me. I was like, yeah, because I was going to run you slap to the end of the boy. <laughs> Play with me, you want to? We gonna find out. I don't yeah. think she was going to the courthouse that day and you hollered. I did not say I got calm down. They gonna run over us, not me run over him. We both gonna have new trucks, calm down. And I mean it looked like being the driver for a half free feet. He was like, oh that's a truck. And I'm like, yeah, it's just us. You gonna run over. Daddy's money. I'm telling you, you got a little daddy's How money. much them peanut bales right here worth? Ah, about $40 a piece. $40? That's, that's a, just a hay. Yeah, that's I know. I know, but that's a lot of $40. That's a lot of $40. How much peanuts worth you might have built? How much? I don't know. Look at the going around peanuts. <laughs> but it's 40 corn. I thought you was about to tell me something good. You said you didn't know. How about we was in somewhere down there that was selling shell corn? They're selling corn on the cob, right? Dried corn like you buy. Thirteen dollars for the bag with the corn cobs in it. It was four pounds, right? Yeah. And then you buy forty pounds of shell corn. The shell corn was eleven ninety nine, but the cob corn was fourteen ninety five. I punched on my phone going rate of corn and today, right now, what's the high price corn? Two days, shell corn out straight out the field. Hold off thirteen cents a bushel. At fifty six pounds. They selling it. Only the cop. They ain't got a ticket for the combine. They still get three times market value for it. Because people said, yeah, well, the squirrel can't take my corn off. It's on the cob. Boy, they are hilarious. Yeah, they are hilarious. They'll take the whole cob up the tree with them. Sure will. And he like, yeah, but they don't do it a lot. How many pieces of corn on one cob you reach? I ain't going to say it. Anyway. He's hilarious. The raccoons don't eat it as much. 
The squirrels don't eat it as you right. They just take it with them and eat it later. It's like a buffet. Why go back and put everything to take with you? But he's trying me. But how they good it, but I have to dress it. Look, I don't want to have to jump out the truck. You won't. Airbag hit you. But I believe I'd jump out before I'd see me fit to hit somebody. I would. I just hold on, let the airbag do it. Look, there's Patty Joe. Yeah, it's getting close to 3 o'clock. I gotta uh, run something to town. It's 30, it's 20, 35 right now. What is it? It's 35 zone right now. I better slow down to a 60. Yeah, it might better. We it's might a not, 55 right here. You might not make it. I'll, I'll, call, I'll call Brent right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know we're in the school traffic and got in the boy. Yeah. That man there just had a divorce. He didn't look happy. He ain't <laughs> He didn't look happy. He was miserable. That's why he was sitting around crying this morning. I don't know about all that. He was. Same dude sitting right there. I was like, mm, bad news. Because Brent went down there directing traffic. I said, son. He said, Who'd you make mad? Why you direct me? I seen him. I seen him. Can I tell you the truth? Yeah. Look, you want to see the message? I'll show you the message he sent me back. Like, dude, that ain't funny. I'm like, oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> Who did you make mad? Nobody. I'm like, oh, you did something. He the only coffin bearer in plain clothes with an orange vest like he going to deer hunt. Like, how you on the drug task force team and you direct the traffic? That's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> on the SRT, the SWAT team, the drug task force. And you directed, who did you make mad? What did you do? Pull up the governor's daughter? I mean, I'm telling you. You made somebody mad, boy. Don't play with me. I'm your daddy. How about how about the daughter and his <coughs> woman built that house right here? That's nice. <coughs> What'd you call <go> money? <coughs> <coughs> yep. Bentley gave me COVID again. Dr. Gay. Doctor. He got a house they built out there at Thunder, uh, Thunder Springs, Dr. Gay. Seriously. That land right there at the fire department, the volunteer, that was his house out there. You don't believe me? I'll take you over there and show you. I think his name Andy or something like that. Andy Gay or something like that, right? Uh, that doctor over there, he puts in knees and hips and shoulders and does all that, Dr. Gay. He puts you a new shoulder in, a new hip in, a new knee in. That's all he does is replace the joints and stuff. And I know of, but his name is Dr. Gay. He might be in Brook. That might be Dr. Andy Gay, and that might be Dr. Just a Little Gay. <laughs> you seen that coming, didn't you? You did. Man. I got work half a day more often. I like this. I like it. My credit card people ain't gonna like it when I don't pay them next month. You, oh, doing, you know you don't pay them. You were doing so good. You was on the road for about 10 years. What happened this month? I took off every day early. I just couldn't <laughs> do it no more. It's getting close to duck season. Y'all know me. Everybody works a whole year to worry about deer season. Not me. No. You be sitting in the woods here. Man, the thing about deer hunting. Oh, I love it. I, I've, I've got. That dude at the tire store said I have more mounted than Bass Pro Shops got in their store. You do. But I mean, still, I love it. I loved hunting trophy deer. I did too. And then, like in the last year and a half or whatever, I ain't even been. I, I, I just, I got to the age where I like to look at them. That's where I'm at. I, I want to feed wanna them, them and I want to see them. Guess what? If you, if you shoot that 12 point buck, guess what? That's it. He gone. They, he he won't never have his babies and then his babies and his grand. Like, you just took that good gene out of the land. Gone. But. If you do like I do and just look at them when they come across the pond. And then when duck season comes in, you just go start World War XI. That's, that's, that's when you know. You, you feel the love. It's time to quit messing around and let duck me get this crap baby. fixed. Yeah, baby. Let me just go and knock this out, y'all.
the heck you say? Not KFC. Man, I will nice. pull them all some chicken up, too. He just ate a three-pound chicken strip. Yeah, did he give you two? Lord, have mercy. Say it ain't so. Oh, you got a new shoe over here, too, boy? Oh, you shoot something, boy. $300 a piece. Ain't that winning? Yeah. Oh, trust me. Them's all new right here, man. That's him doing for her. He's fishing it. Yes. What is it? Jeez. That's, that's, that's turkey. That ain't no chicken, that be. What I do with my brake pads? You put them down by your knee. Oh, yeah, this is it. Yeah. Here's my new squealers. Yeah. Gotta have a new squealer on there. Then I squealed my hood and off. Bless you, heart. Because my other tires was fine. Yeah, but you want them to wear evenly. You know? Even wear, baby. Oh, that's your little sliders. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Going more boggy in today. Yes, sir. When we did the brakes on that camper. Oh, that was oh rough, Jesus, that was rough. Well, how you gonna have a brake pad weighs 38 pounds? Wrong way. Right way. Put a little spit on there, you want to pinch your finger. Pinched it a while ago. I'm trying to tell you, put a little spit on it. Yeah, I like to do stuff the hard way. I've seen it. I do it from the top side like that, so when it rips through your hand, it won't be as bad. Oh, look at that. Three. See what I mean? I got my charger on and my thing still froze saying low battery. Low That's what battery. I'm talking about. about. But you got new brakes. How it matters. Here's your good question. Sound ignorant, but don't the inside shoe go on first? Because it runs in that tray. Oh, I see. I see, I see, said the blind man. Hmm. That ain't right. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah. Kind of thinking the same thing. How's that front shoe gonna hold? You, your back one ain't on this side, but it's on the front seat clip right here. Mm -hmm. Shoe. I bet if you take the other two, they go one way and one goes the other. So there's a lip and a slide. So it'll lip over and slide to it. 
hold you up, break shoes, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I see it. Yeah. Put the wrong one in. Yeah. Exactly. Behind but I took them out of the pack exactly like I said. I read that rascal right there like something's life. That's the one right there. It goes on that, yep. It goes on that bottom and goes to the top. This won't never come out of there without that in it. Yeah, well. Oh, job. You might not get it back. Oh, my Jesus. Ugh. That's horrible. You <sighs> want a screwdriver? Nice. I'm going to keep right on till I get them. I know, it's going to tell you. Ask me, does that chisel mine if it just mauls you don't. up? That's why I said, would you like that screwdriver? <sighs> just do it the hard way. Stick that through there so it pulls it out. Let me get my finger back. No, stick that to there. I ain't gonna do it, you do it. Cause I don't wanna stab you. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm saying if you stick that in there, now that'll roll over. Right? Or it won't cause the front's pinched in. Hmm. I'm gonna go get one more little thing to pop that front. Next guy got a screwdriver in here. I want him to make it a little harder. <laughs> Not on me. What good is that? I want you to just pop right up. Oh, shoot, no. I said shoot, too. That's what I mean. It goes back to what if I was old? What are you trying to say, Jack? What would I do if I was old? Like me? Oh, you're getting it now. I bet if you put right through there and push, it'd come out. Well, I... Oh. Is it just really holding that hard? I reckon. I can't believe it, but now go forward ain't playing. Oh, it's slipping. There you go. I'm do this side. Look at that. Now then. Do not put the wrong one on first. This one goes on next. On the other side like this. And these two things line up like that, and it rolls over into the top, yeah? Oh, uh, did you just put that on backwards? No, you didn't. You the man. <clears throat> you did war. You the man. God damn. You the man. You the man. Make sure you're going to go in at the top and roll on to the bottom, or? It's going to go in at the top. Okay. I believe it. There you go. Oh, yes. Beautiful. There Sliders, you'll have a problem. Yeah, it's called I have a problem already. No. <coughs> push in that thing in. That seems like it's much more easier to do. <laughs> Once you put them in, I was wondering how come it was so hard. Lord, yeah. It's probably going to be two bolts. 
Maybe it feels better. I have never seen nobody use as much cement blocks as y'all to jack something up that could fall and kill you. Like we do it. I don't, I don't get it. You know, I look for a jack stand. So like, you know, I knew, you know. Yeah, I believe it. But my jack stand's under that crap on my do uh, dually right here. Look you at it. Said, I trust in this jack in my life. Something like that. My leg, my arms. What if I was going to chop some legs off? I'd be Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> I like Lieutenant Dan. He was a <laughs> Lieutenant Dan was a good guy. Horace was a little odd to me, but I like him too. I <coughs> had long tail off pressure. He taught me like that. Now I need to tire. That's my seat, though. I'm comfortable. Okay, be like that, then. Fine. I mean, no. uh. you can't have nothing. Good God, uh. it's lug holes in this thing. What does it fit every time? Uh, uh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh. It was like a big truck tire. Watch the wrench, it's gonna run over them. There you go. Yes, sir. And then just power on this guy. See what I'm talking about, boy? Power on this one. Let's see. You got all the good out of them, man. All of them. This ain't even the side that was scrubbing. I got one side grinding. Go ahead, man. You get your money's worth, don't you? Yeah. You not wrong with I that. replaced the most lifetime parts you ever seen. Well, you know when they wear out, that's the life of them. How can you get somebody a lifetime brake pad? You know they're going to be back. I mean, if that was the case, don't you think Toyota place would buy them? Chevrolet place would buy them? Hey, these lifetime pads. Well, let's put uh, two-year pads on it then. Let's I put, let's I put, let's put guaranteed to stop 34 times and then fail. I can see mud bugs in there. Three pictures from a random participant. You got to text them and say, hey, by the way, who is this again? Because it comes up as unknown. <coughs> and, uh... Let's just fix everything today.
gotta run that thing back. Then we've got about you know. Fix them the truck, baby. Where's the wrench? Just had it. Yeah, let's, let's turn it the wrong way first. Yeah. This to go quick right there. Pocket knife again. Oh, I got it. Oh, no, I need to watch your chain break. Watch you on the pocket knife. They come up there, player. You the man. Hey. Ma'am?
Still loving it. Merry Christmas, you say. You don't say. I mean, doggone miss, you say. Well, look, there's a matching one. I told you I had some. You ain't sure do, don't you? I asked for what? What would that be? <coughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's a Christmas gift. What Christmas gift I ain't got yet? That's how break's supposed to go. Three minutes. go around it twice. When you tighten them up or something, it's just a good habit. New tires, new drive shaft, yeah. new brakes, motor oil, washer fluid, power steering fluid, I'm talking about, you name it. Today I've done it.
video about, I don't even know, you know, what all. I don't even know what all this video consisted of. I don't even know what I named it today. I mean, y'all, like, thank y'all for watching. And thank you for the super chats and thumbs ups. And, um, I got to see about this car now, but y'all nice. got other stuff y'all rather do, I'm sure. Look, the button doesn't come on the button. Like, Lord have mercy. It just can't handle it. it just, just, Lord have mercy. Help us all, please. Like it just it can't help it. Can't. I got to go get the shop back, suck that out. Do some sucking, you say? I got to find out about the vacuum leak. You know? Yes, sir. No, I'd rather be him as you. Look here, y'all so sweet. Been here all this time. I've been doing just bull jive. Four hours and you got so much done. Lord, I don't feel like it. You know? You could put that two box on the thumbnail. <laughs> I'm telling you what. Amen, amen. Woo, I tell you. So, so you do brake job. You need a big C clamp. A six inch one. This is what pushes your pistons back in. They better get your new pads on. All right. Yeah. I don't really call this work sitting in the office doing that. I don't call that work, do you? You really call that work in the air conditioning, the heat, with the computer? Well, I guess it's, I mean, I guess it is what it is. I'm just asking. Love y'all. Got lots of content coming up. I got a big special uh, video coming up for y'all. I ain't. I know y'all seen a sneak peek today uh -oh. on the video. Uh, that definitely ain't work. Got lots going on. I got lots of new stuff. Gonna be some surprises and. Um, <laughs> but anyway, hey, thank y'all for watching yeah. today. And uh, we're going to see about this. Well, I'm going to see about this car. I'm sure Stan got something to do. But, I, I got to uh, do something for a friend. You know, he's got a fox infestation. Oh, thank you, Dallas. Thank you so much. Thank you, him. Yeah. Y'all so sweet. They are. They are sweet people on there. They are. I mean, like, that's work, too. That's definitely work. To be done. To be done. Amen, brother. Yep. Amen. Checkered flag racing. Checkered. I like checkered flags. Yep. Y'all sweet, ain't you? They are. You know, I still got to go get the shop back. Shop back. Add it again. Add it again, player. Hush. I didn't ask for this. That's a lot of ducks, though. My <laughs> Jesus. Hmm. Oh, by the way, duck season comes in Saturday in Georgia for anybody that cares. We'll be here. Okay. All right, y'all. Hey, I, hey, my, this thing's, it's done gave me the 10% <laughs> warning. It's done gave me the 5% warning. I'm sure it could go off any second. So I'm going to hit in before it ends it for me. Love y'all. And, uh, be good. <laughs> I love y'all. See y'all in the next video. Bye bye, y'all. Thank y'all for watching me put up with all my stuff tearing up. Peace, love, and hair grease. Bye, Ford. I can show you how to work on it. <laughs> Amen, brother. <laughs> Bye, Amen. I love y'all.